Bum 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 Brap ba da ba di dum bu da di da Good evening everybody <clears throat> It is 5.43 CST April 19th In the evening Hello! How y'all doing? Hello first FIRST How you doing Derby? <clears throat> Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Last time on, we beat the game. We did it! Now nah, we beat the base game ARR. So what we're doing today... ...is the Binding Coils of Bahamut. A raid series. That's going to finish fleshing out the story of the of the first expansion, and then <clears throat> then we'll be on break from Final Fantasy for a little bit as we go play the other the game that's been that's been in the voting for the past week and a half. Playing Mario Odyssey, I hear that's a good game. Never played it myself though. I haven't played a Mario game since. S Super Mario 64. I'm... I'm old and out of date. But I hope you're... I hope you're enjoying it. But yeah, today we're going to finish ARR. By... By that I mean the Coils of Bahamut. We're just going to do it unsynced because it is a misery trying to find people to play this with. So I'm not even going to bother. And then tomorrow, we're going to play Death Road to Canada. That's probably only going to be like one stream. Maybe two. Probably only one, though. Hehe. <laughs> That's a that's someone's name. <laughs> but after that, I think it's time for Vintage Story. Cuz that game's been a request for months and it keeps not winning. It keeps not even really getting voted for. So I, I'm I'm just going to force it through because I feel bad at this point. And then we'll go back to Final Fantasy, do a chunk of Heaven's Word. And then go back into... Voting. So we'll get another round of voting in like a week or two. Depends on how often I actually stream. Pokemon Shining Pearl I named to me and my rival name. Uh, good luck telling who's who. Anyway. It won't take very long. Well, it'll take a few hours, but it won't. We might as well get started. Already can't. Good. Welcome back to the Rising Sand, or the Waking Sands, a place we haven't been in a hot minute. We gotta talk to this guy! Urian J, mister! Cavorting with the Asians. These whack ass sandals. What do you want? Primal Awakening. Urian J would speak with you regarding the unidentified primal. When the centery moon did wane, there sounded a blood curdling roar. A new primal had roused. The portents gave us to believe. One whose identity yet lieth beyond our kin. At the end of the base game ARR, after defeating Ultima Weapon, there was a loud, realm-wide roar that everyone heard. That's what he's talking about. By thy hand, three primals have since been vanquished. As each returned to the ether, was observed that tremors foreshadowing this fourth grew in strength and frequency both. The being doth quicken, 
and in time it shall become a scourge upon the land. Yet even as we pondered a course of action, a benevolent soul did arise, one who would forestall this threat. Though she be tender in years, she is true of heart and steadfast of resolve. She would solicit thine aid if thou art willing to proffer it, lest thou wonder this maiden is of our order. Thus did the antecedent straightways consent that thou shouldst assist her however thou mayest. This takes place before the end of the patch, just so you know. As soon as thou art able, hie thee to Wineport, where thy petitioner doth await thee even now. Thou shalt for a certainty find her visage strikingly familiar. Oh boy, I wonder who it could be! To Wineport! Waiting for my dad so we can co op and Mario? Hell yeah. Hope you all have a good time. Oh, hey, Midi. <clears throat> oh my god, it's Alize! We found her! No! Oh man, what'd she say? It has been a while, adventurer. As I recall, my brother Alphino took the liberty of introducing us when first and last we met. But for the sake of propriety, Alizé Leveilleur, I thank you for coming. I have heard much and more of your exploits. By your hand, the Black Wolf is slain and his Ultima weapon destroyed. You are possessed of great strength and courage, that much is plain. I shall have a need of one such as you if I am to see my mission through to its conclusion. Daughters, as you may be aware, the violence of Dalamud's fall changed not only the face of the realm, but also the base of the realm. Specifically, it played havoc with the etheric currents, creating vast confluences of ether below the surface. Among other phenomena, this led to the formation of subterranean caverns at key points of stress. One such cavern lies beneath Castrum Oxidens, and extends to only the gods know where. Despite appearances, Castrum Oxidens is as much a research facility as it is a fortress. Gaius von Belsar chose the site for no other reason than to probe the caverns without interference. As you went about vanquishing the returned primals, I observed a repeating wave pattern in the ether corresponding exactly to the dates on which you were reported to have felt Ifrit, Titan, and Garuda. Upon closer examination, it became clear that these unique, wa unique waveforms emanated from deep beneath the aforementioned stronghold. Currently, I recorded the same pattern during the recent celebrations, and I've since been given to understand that this phenomenon bears a disquieting similarity to one observed shortly prior to the Calamity. Five years ago, my grandfather invoked the power of the Twelve that he might contain Bahamut. Alas, his efforts failed, and he vanished together with his foe. I would know the truth of what transpired that day, of grandfather's fate, and of the metamorphosis that swept across the land. In casting light upon these mysteries, we will find a way to cure what ails this world. It is my belief that the answers I seek lie hid within the depths of the cavern. I would have you accompany me on an expedition to find them, Weeble. Oh, jeez, I don't know. If truth be told, I am not wont to rely upon others, and have thus far handled matters alone. Yet I am not blind to my limitations. Unescorted, I cannot hope to succeed in this endeavor. I swore that I would find a way to restore peace to Eorzea. You desire the self-same, then aid me, as you aided my brother and the Scions. Okay. I am in your debt. You are a man of action, and I sense that we will accomplish much together. But let us not waste any more time. As I mentioned, Castrum Oxidin straddles the cavern I wish to explore. If I am to have hope of reaching it alive, I will need you to infiltrate the stronghold first, and locate a path into the depths. Once you have done so, pray you report your success to Storm Private Jabroka. 
You may consider her my assistant here in Wineport. I have every faith that you will not fail me. Well, speed your way, Weeble. What if a game had an achievement where you stood in one place for 20 minutes? You mean Far Cry? <laughs> you mean Far Cry 4? <clears throat> All right. Let's go break into this heavily guarded and definitely going to be difficult to break into fortress. I need to take a drink. <clears throat> oh, man. <sighs> A fade! Oh my god! Mini break. Water break! Oh my god! <clears throat> oh, hey, look, it's a big hole in the ground. Hi, robot. Hi, robot. Exploratory site gate. Excuse me, I'm busy here. Die, robot. Die. Away, my funny cactus! We gotta go turn in. To Jabroka. Yeah, Alizé and Alphino, their granddad was the is the elf wizard, the Gandalf from the 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 intro cinematic. He exploded to kill Bahamut, the big ass dragon. I've been expecting you, Weevil. By your coming, I take it you've successfully located the cabin entrance inside Castor Moxidens. So that's where it's to be found. Marvelous. Oh, but allow me to properly introduce myself. Jabroka is my name, and it is my honor to serve Lady Alize. Though for reasons of convenience, that person's wearing a dunce cap. Though for reasons of convenience and presence, I also serve the Maelstrom. This uniform accords me certain privileges, you see. In particular, ready access to the Maelstrom's regional scouting reports. They provide a wealth of local knowledge, including information on secret passages. But enough about me. I shall notify Lady Alize of your discovery, that she may prepare for the expedition. Though I don't doubt your abilities and can say what dangers lurk beneath Gastrom Occidents. For my lady's sake as well as your own, please spare neither preparation nor caution. Pray to choose your companions well. I will choose the best companion. Alizé's Pledge. Does it, does it want me to do it? I think it might want me to do the first Coil of Bahamut. I'm unsure, though. <clears throat> do I have any Vesper Bay... Seals remaining? Or did I sell them all? I think I sold them all. Ah, well. To Horizon. What if a game had an achievement for standing in place for a day, but you get kicked if you did nothing for 20 minutes? I'd say that'd be a shitty achievement. Alright, if Alizé says something about... Oh, good job clearing it, then we're going to go clear it. Bonk. 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 <laughs> Bop! Bash my head on every lamp on the way through! Boop! I'm gonna have so much brain damage! Truly! Get out my way, Mitty! The only thing you can do is mouse inputs. Just do what everyone does in order to not get AFK'd. Just do this. Whoa! Fun fact, this is a mouse input. I'm not pressing a single button. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes I forget how, how tall adult Ellison are. 
I'm pleased to see you again, Weeble. I have already shared the fruits of our expedition with Urian Zhe. Let us pa together ponder their implications. Let me view the opening cutscene of Co the Binding Coil of Bahamut before accepting this quest. Yes? Wait a minute. I do gotta do it. Okay. I do gotta do it. I gotta do it to him! Finding Coil of Vomit, turn one. Let's go! We're down deep. We're at the bottom of the, the elevator. That was that big hole. You've been granted the power of the Echo. Echo! Echo! The scars left by the Calamity. I can scarce breathe for the surfeit of ether. Tell me, have you ever seen corrupted crystals such as these? Such crystals manifested across the realm when the course of the Great River of Ether was irrevoc irrevocably altered five years ago. Behold, one of the objects that caused the alteration. A fragment of the lesser moon, Dalamud. Ancient Alagan, Alag created Dalamud, or Meteor, to use the Garlean name, to serve as a celestial prison for Bahamut. Its fall inflicted grievous wounds upon the land. Wounds that have yet to heal. As is evident from the corrupted crystals. Orb! Amazing! Telamid's internal defenses still function in spite of everything. A testament to the ingenuity of the Alligans. The Garleans seek to appropriate their advanced technology. I am certain of it. We are about to come face to face with secrets that have long laid buried within the sands of time. Great dangers may lie beyond, but we have come too far to turn back. The truth of the Calamity is within reach. Orb! Ye old shock ball! I've got one of these! It's green! How are you doing, Blaine Farson? Ads! I'm getting the blocker on your ass! Doing all right? Hell yeah, brother. Oh my god. Look at that texture. Why is this texture so much lower res than the one back here? <laughs> Why does this one look super good and this one looks like shit? <laughs> oh, because it's a different thing. Oops. Let's preserve. Dark wings that would engulf the very heavens. These could only belong to Bahamut, the primal who laid Diorzia to waste five years ago. At Cartano, my grandfather sought to imprison Bahamut anew by invoking the power of the Twelve. Alas, the dread worm proved too powerful, and he soon broke free of his confines. 
Yet instead of resuming the destruction he had begun, Bahamut vanished. Whither to, no one knew. Until this day. But I do not understand. If Bahamut is truly a primal, how is it that he retains his physical form? Did Grandfather defeat him? Or is there some other explanation? What if he's like Shiva? We must press on if we are able are to learn the truth. Oh my god! It's Gandalf! Ba -ba -ba, ba -da -ba -ba. La la la! Oh, too early. I love this remix. Honestly, the music in this raid is fucking phenomenal. And honestly, if they got rid of the cutscenes that that play in the middle of the. Or if they did something about the cutscenes that play in the middle of the of the duty, the raid itself would also be fantastic. All these corrupted dragon kin. And also this golem. Mantises, their vile kin. Pelican. Interestingly, is a scale kin. Oh my god. You don't care about <laughs> about stairs. I'm gonna kick your ass too. And got whoop! I look at a bunch of crap in their fake moon. Yeah, they did. Although I don't know how much of this is actually... This is the, the cavern. I don't think this is actually in Dalamud. I think these are just shards that wound up in this cave that's just been... Getting covered. Do I need to fight that? Texas would have to be at least... Yeah! And you might be right that the creatures are, but like, the rest of this cave, I think it was just a giant underground. No, I don't have to fight that. Okay. It was just a giant underground area that's got Bahamut goo all over it. It's a badger, 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 badger. Sucks for you, Caduceus. Caduceus. Oh my god, now there's. He's getting out of hand. No, there are two of them. I win. I win! Hey! Hey! Treasure coffers that don't do anything! <laughs> you get basically nothing for these! Yippee! That's both younger or older than Alec. Well, Caduceus? Alright, now I need to know. Do I do the rest of the of that coil? Let me look it up. Is 
Turn one. The old internet relic you just referenced. Oh, the badger? Yeah. A butcher, 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 butcher. That is older than Alec. <laughs> Literally. Let me see. Remember that first game out? I remember watching it on E-Bombs World. Okay, yeah. When it says you unlock a coil, you do the entire thing. New grounds for me. I got to new grounds relatively late. All right, so we do turn two. Nine hundred and twelve yalms beneath the surface. Defeat the ads. Something we try to do every day here on YouTube. To the left, to the left. Yeah, I got into you into new grounds in a weird way because I was a big Azumanga Dio nerd. And I consumed like tons of fan content for it, and I got onto. Newgrounds because of Azumanga Dio fan like fan animations and shit. <laughs> and interestingly, I got into YouTube back in like 2007, 2008 for Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> because I'd watch like Advent Children AMVs and um, like old uh, cartoon animations. I really like these balls. Yeah. <laughs> Otters. Like one of the earliest things that I watched on YouTube was the the cloud like there was like an animation of of like of cloud and had like this really like silly song attached to it. My name is Cloud. I have a sword. I fight cactors because I'm bored. <laughs> I will use a phoenix down So when I die I will not frown Did I skip a thing or did we actually, do we actually go? Oh, no, we're in turn three, okay. We're in the Ragnarok now. My head defies all gravity. Woohoo! The Earth, the Earth are reforming the Dreadguard. Activate the hopper. Boing. Hmm. I need to shoot myself through this thing. Ha! The tenth blade. 
This is the world's most inconvenient elevator. Excuse me, I'm activating your terminal. The ethereal field dissipates. The teleportation terminal is now online. Away we go! Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I think we just keep aiming for these things. Do and trust on to tomorrow. Oh my god. Slugs. Ew. You know what these Aurelia make me think of for some reason? They make me think of Final Fantasy 13. I don't know why. Don't know the one I thought you might have been referring to the one by Legendary Frog FF Tribute Chocobo Remix. I probably saw that. Yeah, let me let's take a quick break. Okay. Shush. We're going to listen to it. I'm in a cloud. I have a sword. I fight I can't doors because I'm bored. I like to ride right. on chocobos. It's better than <laughs> having a froze. And when I go, by God. <laughs> 15 seconds, it's day again, and I will use a phoenix down, so when I die, I will not frown, because I am cloud, ah! air defies all gravity, and I can have too many potions or I might get cavities. Yep. <laughs> that is old, like 2007, 2008 YouTube. Oh, man. I need to get down there. I think I need to go to this one and over the round. I need to play Final Fantasy VII Remake at some point. I need to fi actually beat Final Fantasy VII at some point. I have never beaten that video game. It's another guy. I've never beaten anything. Alan, you never beat video games. I know. I actually was playing it on my PlayStation 2. <clears throat> I, I was actually playing it on a DDR pad because we didn't have a working controller. <laughs> I almost did beat it. <clears throat> All I had left to do was go beat Sephiroth and then I just never picked the game back up. <clears throat> Got it in my throat. I'd like to give the remake a try, too, at some point. Apparently, it's turning into a Yakuza game. Which is interesting, because I like Yakuza, so... I see this as an absolute win. Alright, which way do we get? Which way do we go, George? Which way do we go? I don't think it matters, does it? Oh no, it mattered! Oh no, wait, I chose, I chose correctly! As always, left path is the one you- is the one that works is the only valid path. Yeah, right. Turn three done. E. Z, baby. 
All right. They're in form. No, oh, no intro. Okay. Very bit earlier, 2007. There's a lot of good FF fan stuff. Um, as the AA Plus is another one. I, re I vaguely remember that. Oh, the Chocobo remix you're talking about was on... What was it called? Um, OG Remix? Yeah, I probably listened to it. <laughs> I used to frequent that site. OC Remix, yeah. Bug. Slay the enemies. Come on, everybody. Bunch up. Thank you. Holy. Muck enough. Destroy them. Heresy. Oh, hey, it's a sweeper. <laughs> God, I like. <laughs> I love being able to recognize his designs. Of FF12 and those nightmarish tunnels. I never really, never got far into 12. I do not remember much about it. Other than everyone wanted, everyone wanted to fuck the rabbit girl. I remember that because they wouldn't shut up about it. Oh, was that it? <laughs> Woo! A hard fought duty! Subway train tunnel is full of the dead and mimics, which are what those clockwork bugs get their model from. Really? Hmm. Freaky. Unable to attain foot gear? Oh, man. It's probably open my elegant coffers, huh? Awesome. All right, last turn. Turn five. I should read the text for these, shouldn't I? Hmm. Probably important. I just had a I just I just had had a a stress response. I remember this. <laughs> this is the first time I got gear gated. <laughs> first time I did this, I was using like level 50 gear and I was like level 80. I I got bodied for an hour and a half here. Oh boy. This is going rather more smoothly than I expected. It is indeed convenient to have a hero on hand. <laughs> Gods, that the cavern should open up again, even at this depth. Hollowworth confirmed. Ah, this resembles a finger. So it should. This is Bahamut's hand. As with the wings, it seems to be frozen. And for that, I count my blessings. But again, I find myself wondering, how is it able to retain physical form? I'd assume that Bahamut's reversion to ether was the cause of the widespread changes to the realm. 
But if he is still here, then that theory no longer holds. Hello! Hello, Carol Zinya Aun. How are you? But is Triggy even unsynced because of certain mechanics? Yeah, and I don't remember any of them. I'm probably going to die. I haven't fought this guy in two years. What it, what was it then that brought the realm about the realm's sudden regeneration? There's still so much we do not know about Cartano. Call me Carol Lowell, I'm fine. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm about to get my ass kicked by a by a bird. I haven't the slightest inkling how deep these caverns run. But we must continue. Hollow Earth confirmed. Hollow, 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 Hydalin. Didn't appear in the Corpse Party lives anymore, sorry. Eh, you ain't gotta apologize. You're under no obligation to be there. I'm glad you're doing well. boy make note of his collar of Twintania's collar that will be important <laughs> for the entire day playing Roblox I hope you enjoyed it all right here we go Shit. Am I supposed to stand in this? Oh boy. <laughs> Back to the middle! Woo! We're good, baby! Shit! Are you Tuntania? Get down here, you freaky bird! You can arm's length the knockback? Might be able to. Tuntania! Heard another save to Mary Shane. I hope you're enjoying it. Nope! Woo! You can dodge it though! <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, Alright. Let's focus down. Nice dodge. Dodge! All right, let's focus to Untania. We play Roblox Shorts. How are you? Yippee! <laughs> ah, feels Monk Man. I'm gonna. I can't. Oh, oh no. I can't use that in here. Well, time to board the Ragnarok. 
Never works out for me when I try that. Uh, I get it depends on the job that you're playing. Mungs can dump a dump a lot of damage real quick. Remember me, I was Tether. I remember Tether. How are you? All right, well, we did that. <laughs> I guess we go here now. All right. Now I don't need to view the opening cutscene. Let's go. I'll wait before we do this. Let's actually read the. Should we read these? All right, turn one. Situated upon Vilbrand, Castromoxidens is more akin to a research facility than a fortress. Even before its first pillar was driven into the ground, Legatus Gaius von Belsar had ordered his people to probe the fragment of Dalamud, which fell at that precise location. The impact resulted in the creation of vast caverns pervaded by corrupted crystals. Though unknown dangers lie in wait within, you must brave them all if you are to learn the truth of the calamity. Turn two. At the depths of 912 Yalms, you find your path blocked by Dalamud's internal defenses. Born of advanced Allegan science, these spherical constructs are still fully functional even after eras in existence, and will seek to annihilate all intruders or be destroyed in attempt. Then my usual use can still call me Tedder, I will try to remember. You may have to remind me, though. Turn 3. At the depth of 1233 Yalms, your party becomes upon the fragment of Dalamud the Garleans had sought. Its true identity is the Ragnarok, a colossal starship which fell away from the Lesser Moon moments before Bahamut bursts free of its prison over Cartano Flats. To reach your destination, you must venture through this relic of ancient Alleg. Stay ever on your guard, for every shadow may conceal dangers. Turn 4. At 1524 Yalms below the surface, employing Ragnarok's drive cylinder as a makeshift lift, your party proceeds toward the main bridge. It's you must work for every Yalm you gain, for Dolomid's internal defenses will not allow you to pass unmolested. And turn five, hanging overcome the having overcome the seemingly endless waves of hostile constructs, you and your stalwart companions continued the descent into the unknown abyss. At the depths of 1910 Yalms, you are assailed by a winged terror, an ancient dragon brought to heal by the Alligans and made to do their bidding. The trials grow ever more arduous, but you are resolved to press on for the sake of the truth. And then I got, I got bodied by a dragon. What the game is that? This is Final Fantasy XIV. We are currently doing the bah Coils of Bahamut raid series. For future reference, the title of the game is always in the title of the stream. There's also a link to the game available in the description. All right. Now we do the quest. Alizé's pledge, Rianje would speak with you regarding your experience inside the binding coils. Full well, glad am I for thy safe return. Lady Alizé hath apprised me of thy many experiences. As thou wilt doubtless be aware, Master Louisois was my lady's grandsire. Gravely concerned was I for her safety. But it would seem I need not have been so. With all my heart, I do thank thee for watching over her. But come, thou must speak with Mistress Alizé upon that which transpired within the binding coil. May it serve to bring us closer to the truth of the calamity. When it gets to 6k, can you show a face reveal? No. I'd formerly said that it would be at 10k, but I rescinded that because I don't want to. It's so weird to see old style Arianche. I know, right? Look at his sandals! In my videos, congratulations! Shall we, be we begin then? Arianche, I understand you have a report of your own to share with us. Aye, my lady. Even as thou do didst emerge from the depths, an etheric disturbance betokening primal activity was observed. In Mordona, was it marked first? By comparison of time and magnitude, we have since deduced its origin. 
The Cardinal Flats. Strange. There have been no reports of primal activity in that region. It could only have been Bahamut. That would certainly explain how we came to be in northern Thanalan. Somehow the cavern took us all the way from Vilbrand to the heart of, Alden of Aldenard. Oh! It removed cutscenes? I remember that now! Oh fuck, um... One second, let me go to the lodestone. I made- I took notes on this when I played it on-, on off-stream. I can actually say exactly what happened. If it loads. Okay, there we go. Notes, notes, notes. Go to my blog. Crystal Tower. Coils Notes Part 1. Okay, I activate the, the Turnal. Those are Wings, Orb Dead, Garlics after the Elegant Tech. Unique battle music, Transition could use some work. Orbs. We will go down the hole. Okay. Baja Blast is Death Ether not causing crazy changes. Journey to the center of the Earth. This boy ain't ready for my wallet. I haven't upgraded since level 53. <laughs> Went from eye level 203 to 507. <laughs> That's the first time I beat him. Even higher now. I'm at 629 now. I may be broke, but at least I'm powerful. Activate the terminal. Ether saturation control. Neuralink, a form of slavery. This is stuff it didn't talk about. Neuralink link is a form of slavery. Alec could, con could control dragons. Ishgard would love that. So would the Garfield Empire. We know how it fell. They act up. More roar. Huge dragon. Zaboom Bahamut's head. Bahamut was the roar from ARR end. Still here. Never actually gone. Luis Wise alive. Is the option to skip cutscenes on by chance? No. I think I actually specifically turned it off, but we can check afterwards. Why does every zone look so good? Back to Northern Thanalan. We popped out there. So did no one important actually die at Cartano? Pray return. Okay. So that's what we missed. Louis Zwa is indeed alive. Bahamut has a big brain. He's big down. He has a big head and he's down there. I was actually checking earlier when figuring out if, if I needed to do the coils then. And people were saying that cutscenes are gone. And someone mentioned, I haven't done any other raids other than the ARR raids. But someone mentioned that, um... There's solo content in the Omega raid series that doesn't, that you cannot do again. That just gets skipped. So it's possible it just doesn't happen in, in, in New Game Plus. But we'll, we'll check it out after this, uh... After this, uh, cutscene. That would certainly explain how we came... How we came to be in Northern Thanalan. Somehow the cavern took us all the way from Vilbrun to the heart of Aldenard. Would seem so, my lady. It is all but certain, then. After Bahamut disappeared five years ago... He hid himself deep beneath Cartano, and has since lain dormant, regenerating. Aye, my lady. 
Taken together with thine own account of Bahamut's continued presence, the land's slowness to heal and the disorder of the etheric currents do point to one conclusion. Bahamut stirreth. If left unchecked, the primal shall drink of Eorzea's life force, till he doth waken to rain ruin upon the land. I'll punch him in the nose! Rest assured, people, I do not mean to give up. Bahamut may still live, but so too does Grandfather. For the past five years, he has been keeping vigil over his nemesis, making certain that the primal does not escape. Master Louis Soir, doth yet live? I... I durst not hope. And thou art certain t'was no mere manifestation of thine all too sorely felt to grieve. I know how desperate that may sound, Ariange, but I saw him with my own eye, two eyes, as did Weeble. But he vanished deeper into the labyrinth before we had the chance to speak. It's lagging again. Two more, fra li two more like fragments of Dalamud pierced the earth when the lesser moon fell. One we have seen, but if we can find the other two, I am certain that we will find Grandfather as well. If thou so believest, my lady, then I too shall have faith. If it please you, I shall notify the grand companies of this development. All Eorzea must stand united, if we are to avert a repeat of the calamity. That will not be necessary, Eorzea. Being the great conciliator that he is, Alphano will seek to unite Eorzea of his own accord. If rumors are true, that endeavor is already well underway. Um, hmm. About that. <laughs> so let us leave the diplomacy to the diplomat while we continue with our investigation of Bahamut. I swear to you, no matter what it takes, we will find my grandfather and uncover the whole truth of the calamity. Weevil, you've heard me swear to do these things. Without your strength, I cannot hope to make good on my word. The danger to Eorzea is not past. For the sake of all who abide here, I pray that you will ever be our sword in the darkness. Okay. Okay. Complete. Probably viewable in the book thing in the end, maybe. This is the character configuration. Yeah. Yeah, turn that off. Yeah. No, not from in here. Okay. Let's go try. Seeing if, um, if we can watch the cutscene actually in the end. If not, I'll just have to summarize what happens through my painstaking and very detailed notes that I took in 2022. Bam, bam, ba, ba. A top up a top Sound like he's speaking her teas. All right, the unending journey. Unavailable. No, oh, let's suspend. All right. Chronicles of a New Era. Bahamut. We have two cutscenes. Not that. <laughs> huh, well, that's a shame. Unable to resume new game mode from your current location. It also won't let you do it if you're sitting down. It's very weird about that. All right, well. 
I will summarize what happens. Man, that's a bummer. Another turn in the coil. Alright, let's go back. Let me pull up. Alright, I pull up. Part two notes. Okay. I got my notes. If stuff happens, I will... I will check to make sure we're not missing anything. Man. Now I'm bummed that my computer died <laughs> in 2021. Because that's the only reason I, I started playing. Like, I kept progressing is because my computer died. And I couldn't stream anymore, so it's like, I'll just play the game like normal. New Game Plus exists, right? Yippee. Hello, Slavis. Anako Bernako! Alright. Another turn in the coil. Ryanje would have you delve deeper into the mysteries surrounding the Elder Primal Bahamut. The crystal choked abyss lieth beneath the Gartano Flats, the unholy cradle of an Elder Primal. And by thy hand were truths great and terrible arrested from those once celestial depths. The devs? Yet as is oft the case, an answer doth breed a profusion of questions. And the unknown doth beckon with irresistible allure. Ne'er have the mysteries of the red moon lain- Moon? Ne'er have the mysteries of the red moon lain so neatly within our grasp. Lady Alizea has sent word of her coming. It is time once more to brave the precipice and leap unflinching into the jagged wound that doth gape beneath the land. My apologies. I trust I have not kept you waiting over long. Weeble, I am both delighted and reassured to have you at my side once more. It's been like five minutes. Are you, are you like a dog? You miss me already? I would not waste your time with trivialities. Oh, that's, well, that's all anyone ever does. Let us proceed directly to the discussion of that which we have learned, and that which we hope to learn anon. Initially, it was evidence of a new primal that led us to delve into the cavern beneath Castrum Oxidens, and to explore the subterranean scars left after the fall of Delamud. As you will well recall, what we found was a vast, largely intact fragment of the fallen satellite, and within the depths of that structure, we discovered not the new primal we had expected, but the broken form of Bahamut himself. Yet even this great revelation would soon be overshadowed by the appearance of my own dear grandfather. I have since shared our sundry findings with Rambrus, preeminent scholar of the Sons of St. Koinach, and he in turn did kindly furnish me with his theory concerning the Elder Primal's elegant prison. It would seem that Dalamud was constructed to gather onto itself the rays of the sun, and then channeled his radiant bounty onto the Crystal Tower. We found that out! The Crystal Tower raid! I miss Rambrus. The ancients saw great potential in Bahamut's capacity to manipulate energies of otherwise unmanageable magnitude. It was for this reason that they did bind him within the Red Moon to serve as its living core. Do you remember the sight that greeted us at the culmination of our journey? Oh boy, do I! <laughs> no, what was it again? The colossal devices that surrounded and seemed to cradle the incomplete form of the Elder Primal. From the information provided to us by the Sons of St. Koinok, we have learned that these contraptions were termed Internment Hulks, and that each bore the designation Ragnarok Class. The purpose of these Hulks is believed to be twofold. First, they are meant to act as binding coils. Roll credits. 
rendering Bahamut incapable of escape. And second, they are meant to feed him. Perversely, the self-same energy which prevents him from moving also serves to sustain his corporeal manifestation. Bahamut is permitted neither to die, nor to truly live. He is merely allowed to be. For century upon century was the Elder Primal thus imprisoned, bound about in fetters so subtle in their working, and yet so adamant, that though his cell be destroyed, Bahamut lieth yet at the mercy of his long departed captors. It has long been held that the Primals require the prayers of their faithful followers to exist, yet none alive worship Bahamut. Could it be, then, that the Alligans found a way to simulate prayer itself? It seems the only logical explanation. I would postulate, therefore, that the regenerative mechanisms in question also supply something akin to the power of prayer. Consequently, if all of the internment hulks were to be rendered inactive, Bahamut should dissolve into the ether. Upon the evidence of thy previous foray, we determine that the Elder Primal is sustained by three such binding coils. Thus did we commence to scour the realm, and found in the Twelveswood, Twelveswood an as of yet unexplored fragment of the Lesser Moon, bearing a most familiar etheric signature. After, and after conducting a preliminary investigation, we believe we have discovered a point from which this North Shroud Fragment and the second of the internment hulks can be entered. As Aorzea's sword in the darkness, I would have you once more lead the charge. I will, of course, be there at your side. Once you have made your preparations, head to Falgord Float and make yourself known to my assistant, Serpent Lieutenant Anel. Serpent Lieutenant Anal. Oh my. The fallen fragment is not far from the settlement, and her position provides a convenient rendezvous point. Okay. I will break these elegant fetters, for they bind my grandfather sh as surely as they bind Bahamut. Uh-huh. Well, whatever. I'm going to Fall Gord Float. Bye. Man, now that I now knowing that there's cutscenes that we just can't see, I'm bummed. I was looking forward to this because I loved the binding coils. Unending duty, but under duty instance raids. Oh, is it? Back to the end we go. I want to watch it. Why wouldn't they be to get? Oh, hey, it's Cammy. Why wouldn't they be together? That's weird. No, Midgard Sorber, I pressed the wrong button. Who'd I get? <gasps> you can stay with us for now. The one that did not show up here for turn five, it's cutscene five, you didn't see. Instanced rates. Why wouldn't they be connected? The book is kinda janky, yeah. I gotta suspend it again. My cat just died. Cat's alive again. Raids, raids. Duty, instance. <gasps> there it is. These will be. What, fights? Yeah, these are just at the intro and all that. I don't think there's anything else we missed. Intro and boss deaths, but some have more. 
All right, we have two cutscenes here, five and six. Turn five. Yeah, I was just double checking. This contraption, is it used to control the saturation of ether? I suppose there is only one way to find out. The dragon you vanquished earlier. Doubtless you noticed the peculiar contraption about its neck. It was likely a receptor of some description, used to enslave the creature. Ancient Alec possessed the means to control dragon it, dragons, it would seem. The Ishgardians would kill for this knowledge, though to be sure it could easily, as easily be brought to bear against them. An army of dragons could turn the tide of any battle, as the Garleans once learned to their sorrow. I would not be the least bit surprised if they now sought to exploit this power. Whatever their plans, this serves as another reminder of the might of the Alligans. One cannot help but wonder how so advanced a civilization came to fall. Gods be good. Voltron online. Holy dragon. This is... This is Bahamut's head. And also his heart. Oh, he's a big boy. And that's a normal, enormous crystal. It pulsates as if, as if it were a heart. And the primal that had awakened was Bahamut all this time. No, 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 no. This cannot be true. This, this would mean that grandfather died for naught. Confound it. We do not know enough to strike at it now. We must withdraw. Well, they. Who? Who is that? No. Can't be. Grandfather? Is it truly you? It's Gandalf and a Power Ranger. No. Don't leave me again. Please. Grandfather! You want to talk about it? I know. We can do no more for now. Well, that sounds like some therapy. And then cutscene six. This looks like
How did we come to be in northern Thanalan of all places? Oh, but such details matter little. Grandfather's alive, Weeble! Bahamut did not defeat him! But why won't he return to us? I don't understand. This expedition has yielded more questions than it did answers. At any rate, we should... We would both be better for a rest. Let us return to the Waking Sands and reflect upon what we have seen. Thank you, Weeble. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Yeah, I know, I'm really cool. <laughs> anyway, that's what happened. <laughs> Alright, resume! We'll double check at the end of this coil, too. See if there's more stuff we missed. Look at that goober. Look at that goober! Oh. Hey, no! Weeble Wobble, I've been expecting you. My name is Adele. Your name is now Adel. I have been accorded the rank of lieutenant within the order of the Twin Adder, so that I may better assist Lady Alizé with her endeavors here in the Twelve's Wood. Such authority has allowed me to act without interference from the local soldiery, and to conduct a preliminary investigation of the Alder Springs Fragment. From what we have seen of the exterior, the structure shares many common features with the one you explored in the Nosha. It likely plays host to a similar complement of guardians. But I fear words alone will do little to prepare you for what lies ahead. Bracing out my comrade to the south and west, he is charged with observing all that occurs in the vicinity of the fragment, and will be well placed to show you the thing, if nothing less. Damn, you ain't gotta roast the guy like that. Yeah, the fatter cat? I don't believe so. Nope. I am catless. No. Are you even a real gamer? No. Hello, sharp-eyed serpent private. What brings you to this? What business brings you to this broken land? Unless you fancy being round to a bloody pulp under the granite fists of a wandering golem, I suspect you bugger. Hello, babes. We will wobble. Uh, I'm going in. Oh, my apologies, sir. Lady Alize did send word of your impending arrival, but to seem I've grown rather too accustomed to shooing away curious sellswords and reckless explorers. Behold, if you will. One of the fallen shards of the Red Moon, Dalamud. That's pretty blue. Our initial survey uncovered no evidence of the Empire's presence, which, while fortunate in itself, meant that the approach to the fragment had yet to be cleared. And after much effort, however, we succeeded in carving out a semblance of a path which should grant you access to the entrance. And that, I'm afraid, is where our progress ended. The interior... Well, assuming that the architecture of this Hulk resembles the first, the master controls you seek will be located on the bottommost layer. As all the ingenious and deadly defenses of which the ancient elegance seems so indecently fond. If you would know more, I'm afraid there's nothing for it but to brave the depths of the fragment yourself. Lady Alize will soon be a-raving in Falgord. Pray do not tarry on your way back to Lieutenant's post. I imagine our young mistress will be most eager to commence the expedition. The road ahead promises barrel of plenty. I would humbly suggest that this is not the occasion to stint on preparation or provisions. May the Twelve watch over you. Okay, bye. Horse! Back to Anael. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -bow.
I'm back. Let me in. Let me do the coil. Master Wobble, I trust the private's explanation was worth the journey. Why does anybody here talk like that? Simply securing an approach to the fragment's entrance proved a monumental task. I dare not think what defeating the insider defenses will entail. If there is aught I might do to aid you. Oh, Lady A my, Oh, my apologies. Master Alpha, though. Has there been a change of plan? Arianja informed me of the impending expedition. I merely came to exchange a few words with my fellow Scion before he disappeared into the depths of the second coil. Weevil, though I would strenuously deny it if she were present, my sister's admiration and affection for our grandsire exceeds even mine own. Upon the la matter of his legacy, therefore, Alizé is wont to go above and beyond the call of duty. In our grandfather's absence, she has made the salvation of Eorzea her personal crusade. Twas that which prompted her to brave the perils of the first coil. Yet the fact that she risks her life in this matter manner is not the greatest of my concerns. No, it is her subsequent fixation upon my grandfather's shade that worries me the most. This quest to rid the world of Bahamut must not become a quest to save a man long dead. I feel like the being the salvation of Aorzi is like a family occupation at this point. My sister must needs have a better reason to fight. A time will come when the fate of the realm rests upon our shoulders, and when it does, we must be strong in our resolve. In certain of the stakes for which we risk all, there's a wide difference between fighting for the good of Aorzia and fighting for the love of a man who died for the good of Aorzia. Alizé must choose her own path. She cannot rely on the Grandfather to choose it for her, for he is gone. I am glad that it is you with whom she makes the journey. If Alizé is to discover a deeper purpose, then where better to find one than at the side of Aorzea's greatest champion? Twas there that I found mine, after all. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I ruined your life. But tis past time I was gone. Fair fortune in your endeavors, Weeble. Ah, Lieutenant Anael, was it? I would appreciate you making no mention of my presence here to my sister. Lady Alizé is due to arrive at any moment. I shall abide in confident expectation of your triumphant return. Awesome. Quest complete. Quest complete. And now we do the second coil. But before we do that, we take a break. Because we've been going for almost an hour and a half. And my back hurts and would like to stand up and stretch. So... Get up, walk around, get a drink, all that good stuff. We will be right back.
Hey. All right, y'all ready? I'm ready, y'all ready? I'm ready, y'all ready? <clears throat> the second coil of Bahamut, turn one. Your foray into the caverns beneath Castrum Oxygens has led you to an unexpected revelation. The incomplete form of Bahamut, harpenture of the Calamity, slumbers deep within Earth. Though seemingly a prisoner, <clears throat> the Elder Primal is gradually being regenerated by the massive Ragnarok-class internment hulks that surround the unmoving entity. Alizé reasons that if Bahamut's full restoration is to be prevented, then all three coils susta sustaining and repairing the dreadful being must be deactivated. Filled, filled with new determination, you assemble a group of courageous comrades and set your sight on the fragment of Dalamut found in the North Shroud. Here we go! <clears throat> Here we go! I've been muted this whole time. I'm a fucking idiot. Anyway, what I said was, over there is the Black Shroud. And then I was like, wow, I, I, why am I walking across? Oh, I was wondering why I was walking across the air here. It turns out it's all fake as hell. Anyway, <laughs> how strange. Why could we not see all this before? I suppose it is only to be expected that the corrupted crystals should accompany a disturbance of this magnitude. After all, the fragment likely pierced the ground to a depth of many hundreds of yalms. The swirling ether leaking from the wound must warp the very air, creating a veil that hides these formations from view. Well, it is... Not as if we expected this to be a straightforward task. Let's tread carefully, shall we, Weeble? It is imperative that we win through the depths of this structure and disable the mechanism that powers Bahamut's regeneration. Of course, if we should chance to encounter my grandfather upon the way, I shall not let him go again. Not while there is hope that he may yet be saved. But mayhap we should put such thoughts from our minds until after we have successfully gained entrance to the place. That opening up ahead appears to have... appears a suitable point of ingress. This thing right here, this purple flower thing, that looks very suspicious. Corrupted Aether is weird, yeah. Especially this stuff. This stuff looks alive. Anyway, time to bust some golem kneecaps. There's so many golems! One down. A million more to go. Broken through! Easy. Just have me punch all of the ether. I knew it! Oh my god! 
and you give monks a kamehameha or, or something next expansion slash we rework key blast just make us the goku class come on do it cowards all right good fight Otters. Not even a celebration, just a mm-hmm. Um, that just happened. Hi, elegant bracers of Amy. Yeah, right. They're in two. After battling your way through to the base of the colossal fragment that impales the ground in Alder Springs. Your party enters the structure through an opening in its outer shell. The sight that greets you is an endless of an endless procession of azure lit passages, within which can be glimpsed the grotesque silhouettes, chimerical monstrosities. A chimera? I want a destructo des disc move. I want to be Krillin. Oh yeah, I'm Krillin it. That armor. No, it couldn't be. A Power Ranger! Be on your guard, Weeble. Though it defies all reason that he should live, I know of only one who wears such armor. You, whom the Empire raised as high as the Black Wolf himself, the Legatus of the Seventh Legion. I speak of the madman who brought Meteor, the Meteor Project, to fruition. We face the White Raven, Nail Von Darnus, Harpinger of the Seventh Umbrellera. Nail Van Darnus. Ah, that was the name of the fool who perished upon the eve of the promised age of glory. It should not be uttered within these hollowed halls. Out of love for his loyal servant, the one true deity named me, Nail Deus Darnus. Nail Dingus Dangus. Bingus Bongus. The one true deity. Bahamut! He speaks of Bahamut! Oh Lord Bahamut! Thy name is a sweet water the parched lips. Though my heart swells at thy sacred touch. This blessed sanctum is the domain of my God and his beloved children. Seek to defile its glory, and you will answer to me. Okay, bye. Now I'll see you in two more raid tiers. BTN, because given how he stunlocked himself for a hilariously long time. Solar Flare! Solar Flare! How is this possible? From what Alfino has told me, Nail was slain on the eve of the Calamity. No one died. <laughs> no one who mattered died. Gene Key go home? I wouldn't know. I didn't watch Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Whatever the truth of the truth of the matter, we must be on our guard. There can be no reasoning with the worshippers of a primal.
Yeah. G gish dang. Gish dang tempered. Certainly, I wouldn't be tempered. And this place is obnoxiously large. Obscenely massive. Lamias! You mean to tell me that the Lamias were made by the Alligans? Yeah, the Lamia and the and the moon. The moon was a moon mirror night? These specific ones, perhaps. I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. Especially since Lamias are very, very, um, very, very common in Allegan ruins. Arriving at Sector A. I wouldn't put it past them. What the hell is in those? I think they're just chimeras. Excuse you, me, ma'am. Did you really need to do like a triple black backflip on your way down here, Melusine? You should have spent more time putting on an armor. The answer is yes. I can respect that. Anyway, get banished! Poofing into the void like you're some sort of bacoblin or something. <laughs> Give me them coffers. Bioweapon development. I'm a bioweapon. My neck. All right, let's open these before I get repeats. I'm gonna use them for, for seals so I can buy more pets to sell. All right, turn three. Your party activates the Goyle's lift-like mechanism and at the depths of 3,256 yelms, Arrives within the interior of the internment hulk proper. The great cavern where the elder primal Bahamut dreams is yet many thousands of yalms distant. Explore the labyrinthine passages of the Ragnarok class starship and secure a route into the lowest levels of the hulk. For sure, a horde of Gubu could take Ganon's army. I mean, a horde of Gubu stopped an entire city from being wiped off the map. I think they could. They could probably take. At, le at the very least, the boss Ganon's army. Welcome to the Labyrinth. I'm reminded of the passages beneath Castrum Oxidens. 
It must have traveled quite some distance be below the surface. More of the same tunnels. Twelve be good. Surely they cannot all continue all the way down from the upper floors. It's difficult to see inside. But I have a terrible feeling these corridors house more of the dreadful guardians you have already faced. It is said that the Allegans excelled in the creation of chimerical beasts, and that the Red Moon teemed with a thousand, thousand fantastical monstrosities, all to prevent the enemies of the Ancient Empire from releasing the Elder Primal. Well, they kind of fucked up there, did they? It did really help. I wonder, the creatures that prowl, the, prowl these halls, could they be the beloved children of which Nail spoke? Well, this is yet another mystery to ponder upon our return. Shall we continue onwards? I'm sure there's no mechanics here, and I just gotta punch a bitch. Well, I shot a bitch. Yes, you did, boy. I'm walking this way. No, I'm not. I'm turning this on and going this way. Yeah. I've been spotted! I can't stop it! I'm fleeing! You'll never catch me! <laughs> Outlander. Oh, hey, I hadn't been up here. They caught me! Well, anyway. Money. Eggs potion. <laughs> Where is a max of ten of one thousand forty XP HP? Bro. Wanna write an old map that you thought you cleared but didn't what? How? How'd I never been up here? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What terrible creature awaits us in this fresh hell? Oh, it's the handyman. The handyman can. The avatar. Oh my god! The avatar. Zasha. What the? Does he bend there? He bends my life! Found a room I'd not been in. Mm. Alright, time to remember how to fight this guy. Because <laughs> obviously, a punch out ain't gonna work. How'd you die? He did something and it killed me. My notes on this guy were Colonel. Handyman! Hang. DPS harder, nerd. So I think I just gotta rush him down. Okay. 
that bind. Bind kills you. If he hits you with that, you're dead. Hey, we it's an instant kill. There's that orange thing on the ground. If that hits you, you get bound. He, he one hits you. <clears throat> so we need to figure out if that is something that I can dodge. Dodge! No. It isn't. You need a decoy? I know this is soloable. Soloable because I did. I beat this entire thing solo. I just need to remember how to how, how I fought this guy. It's gonna be for a quick test. Okay, he does not stun. Okay. What the hell is that thing? I'm chained. It didn't do anything. I, I, I win. <laughs> he didn't do it that time. Maybe I was doing it too fast and I was forcing him into a phase. But by doing it slower, I, I managed to, to, to mess up the rhythm and skip an attack or something. I don't know. It's an up close response. I don't know. I win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's actually go look that up. Oars of Bahamut Avatar. Wait until the two towers appear. Then you can DPS him. If you do too much damage, you phase push him to the ballistic missile. If you wait, he'll start the tower mechanic and then and then will not do the ballistic missile until it's done. Ah, okay. Okay, so you wait until the towers come up and then you then you beat the shit out of them. Or you just do it really, really fast. All right. <laughs> Speaking of doing things really, really fast. <laughs> At a depth of 6,329 yalms, your exhausted yet determined fellowship enters the Hulk's operations deck. Deck? Deck. An impossible scene unfolds before you. The surreal landscape bathed in a crimson glare and holding the promise of epic, of epic conflict. Here we go. The hollow charts.
That... that surely cannot be Dalamud. How... where are we? The final resting place of Nail Van Darnis. This is a grave for the undeserving. And for the crime of trespassing upon my god's sanctuary, this place shall serve as your grave too. No! He's T-posing! In the hour of his failure, Nail Van Darnus felt the currents of ether begin to bear away his essence. But before Oblivion could claim the last of him, the divine will reached out, and I was born. Then did the words of my god resound in mine ears. Bring unto mine enemies crushing defeat that they might know despair without end, and claim thee thus the victory which thou wert once denied. Oh, it's a dragon. It would seem that little remained of Nail's essence when Bahamut plucked him from the brink of oblivion. And the result was this strange... simulacrum. Nevertheless, her aura bespeaks great power. She channels the rage of the Elder Primal himself. Lord Bahamut, thy wish is my command. None that shall escape that unquenchable fury! Come, ye dull unthinking beasts! Bear your teeth! They will avail you not in the calamity to come. I'm gonna kick her ass. Fancy meeting you again after two years. Let's see if I remember how to do this. <laughs> oh, fuck! Suppose that helmet functions as a boomerang? Yeah, it do. Alright. Let's go. Stage one. Don't go too hard. To the edge. Start running. Oh, not that one yet. Wrong mechanic. Kill the Dalamud spawns. All right, wrong mechanic. Now is it run around time? Nice shield you got there, Nail. Now I think it's running around time. Yeah. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. I think we stay here. You don't want them to get close to the rocks. If you do that, they become invincible, basically, and you lose. 
10 seconds to Mega Flare. Get behind the rock now. Four, three, two, one. Ow. Okay, here we go. I got pushed out. Ah. Okay. That's the DPS check. We got this though. I forgot about the tower pushing you out. I gotta pull her to the middle. Alright, we just stand here. Man, figuring this fight out <laughs> was miserable. It took me hours, like five, six hours to figure this fight out. But holy shit, it felt so good to win! I drop him. All right, get behind. Get behind a rock. I right, prep. Not man! Riddle of defense or riddle of earth. Not that it matters. To the middle! Go, 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 go. Okay, too close now! <laughs> Drop that shit on my head! <laughs> Not the tower, Mom! No! Mother, please! Whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, power up. Cummins the running. <laughs> Gotta get my cardio in. Over here. I wonder how many mechanics I'm I'm not going to be able to that you don't see because of the uh, the solo because of how much damage you do. I wonder how many mechanics I'm missing. Now, this one over here. You. I need to stand like right there. Yes! Uh, 
Miss me with that instant kill. <laughs> if you do not DPS her down there fast enough, you do get one hit KO'd. You inevitable death. That is a DPS check. Doing this solo. Hey! Man, it's so much easier doing that now. Because <clears throat> I am considerably more powerful now. Give me them big ass boxes. It'd probably be even easier if I did the um <clears throat> if I did the blitz. If I set up blitz beforehand. Well anyway. Back to the end. Cause I imagine that we missed some cutscenes there. Cause there ain't no way it just ends like that. <clears throat> All right, Antoine O. What can we do for you this evening? We hope you have a pleasant stay. I need to read a book. Read a book, read a book, read a motherfucking book. Second coil, turn four. Cutscene number three is what I'm guessing it is. Or maybe it was cutscene two. This seems very different. Cutscene two. Oh, no. Please forgive me, Alan is dumb. Okay, it is cutscene three. Okay. Yada 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 yada. Why won't you die? Poor creature. Poor creature. Would, you, would that you had never been born. You had surrendered your physical form and collapsed into ether. But Bahamut denied you death and what imprisoned and imprisoned what little was left of you in an ethereal shell resembling what I wonder images from your memory perhaps. That shell is now broken and your primal deity seems disinclined to sustain your existence. My primal deity? I kneel to no Akon. What need have I to beg the favor of such filth? I am Neil Van Darnus, Legatus of the Seventh Legion. No, a moment. My thoughts are clouded, and this body is not mine own. Could it be that you spoke to the truth? Was I ensorcelled by the Lesser Moon's ancient prisoner? That will not happen again. You speak as if Bahamut no longer controlled you. That's impossible. Once a primal ensnares a mind, it cannot be freed. Unless, unless Bahamut simply relinquished his claim. What need has he of a broken spirit bound for the ethereal realm? Oh, that I should fall prey to the very influence I sought to purge from the land. The irony is galling. But do not assume that all of my actions were chosen for me. 
It was my will that the Meteor Project be resurrected. Mine, and none other. Yet it seems that my grand designs were destined to fail. Even the ungentle release of death was denied me. Nail, please. You must tell us more of the Calamity. You must know the truth of what has befallen the world. And of what has become of my grandfather, Archon Louis Zwa. You are Louis Zwa's grandchild. Ah, oh, the fates are generous with their cruelty. Continue on if you would have your answers. They await you at the terminus of your path. But know that this path leads only to despair. The light of truth was ever harsh and unforgiving. Why do you say this? Grandfather will be freed once we, once we put a stop to Bahamut's restoration, will he not? What are you not telling us? Steal yourself, child. Only unbending resolve and merciless strength can conquer what lies ahead. The weak can not, do not but weep under the pall of their own misery, as did the frail child I once was. Shot through the heart! Silence, chattering raven. Your wretched wings are broken, and you shall soar no more. My crimson moon, your brilliance sears mine eyes. Damn. Nail got disenchanted. I recognize that voice, Weeble. But he would never, never would he say such words. Come, let us finish what we came to do. All will be all put right when the final Hulk lies dormant. Grandfather will be himself again. I'm sure of it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Cutscene 4. That's definitely not copium, Alizé. Has there been more added to him? Bahamut regenerates more swiftly than I had anticipated. Let us hope that disabling this coil will serve to slow the process. Are they putting armor on him? The display seems... different. But the controls appear to mimic the mechanism we found in the Lenotian Hulk. It shouldn't pose a problem. Accidentally... accelerates the regeneration process. Weeble, forgive me. The moment I beheld Nail's transformation, hope wilted in my heart. I did not believe you could stand against the manifestation of Bahamut's power. Oh, for all your fabled strength and skill, I felt certain then that I was going to lose you. Just as I lost my grandfather, even he, a man for whom naught seemed impossible, was humbled before Bahamut's might. Yeah, we're going to ignore the fact that I died, like, twice. That's fine. More like a 3D printer. It's a really fast 3D printer. And yet, look how far we've come. It is incredible the feats of which we are capable. Our boundless potential. It was this capacity for greatness, I believe, that Grandfather so dearly wished to protect. With all that has occurred, I've come to understand that at much at least. Took five years to do this much. Maybe it took that much time to make his art. Because now they're just putting his skin on and also giving him armor.
But he's regenerating. He's got like, like wires and shit. He is a dragon, that's true. She's done. Shall we make our way back to the surface and gather our thoughts? We've seen much that will benefit from Miriam Jay's learned perspective. Gandalf alert. Gandalf alert on our 12. Ah! Oh, wait, you're, you're alive. What the hell, Granddad? Grandfather, it is you. Then, why? Abandon this quest, Alize. They will not countenance further sabotage of the coils. Sabotage? But... But we must disable the coils if we are to prevent Bahamut's revival! Your defiance seals your fate. Bite and blast! No. No, you are not who I thought you were. My grandfather would never. Foolish girl. How could the White Raven allow herself to be bested by such sniveling opponents? Listen well. We all exist at the pleasure of one divine will. And the word of Lord Bahamut is absolute. Scary, back into your holes, vermin. You have been granted this one reprieve. But should you be so foolish as to crawl into my lord's domain again, I will crush the life from you myself. Please go do, we can't do. The light in grandfather's eyes. You suffered the same fate as Nail. What? <laughs> Turn. <laughs> what? <laughs> My grandsire is no more. That was not but a phantom that profanes his noble memory. This mockery must be expunged. I will not rest until I feed grandfather's soul from Bahamut's tyranny. Do you hear me, Bahamut? Your time is at an end. Eorzea and my family will be avenged. In one to two patch cycles. I'll see you in three months. AKA right now. All right, back into the new game plus. New game plus mode. Right, back. Whoa. That's not the right the waking sands. The waking sands. Da 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 da. Ba 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 da ba da ba da ba 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 da ba da ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba 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 da ba da ba. Sorry, I don't know what got a hold of me. I got that bone in me. Hey, what up? You may view the opening cutscene for the second Quail of Bahamut before accepting this quest. Already did. Alize's resolve. Alize is keen to seek Rianje's learned opinion on the disturbing events which unfolded during your expedition into the second coil. Truly, it is wonderful to escape that stifling air and return to... Northern Thanalan again, it would appear. Ah, yes, the stifling air of the caves for the... We'll trade it for the stifling air of the oil platform. 
I must thank you, Weevil. Were it not for your bravery, I strongly doubt that I would be standing here now. Ah, but you need not tarry on my account. The danger has passed. Pray, go on ahead and apprise Uriange of all that has occurred. I will join you anon. My thoughts are yet unruly, and I would rest here a while. Pray, return to the Waking Sands. Where you normally come out, though, yeah! I'm all out of drink! Man! Uh, I'm gonna go need to go get more water. Is that a dead chocobo? No, he's just sleeping. Never mind. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> the footfalls. I love that song. Oh my god, is that Neja's rings? The only reason I know that that's Neja because I've not actually done the whatever fight it is that you need to actually do to get those. It's because <laughs> I played Musa Warriors. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that's how Neja walk gets around in the game. <laughs> Discovered way too late I could travel from Vesper to Vesper Bay from Limsa, but that was before flight. Yeah, walking on the ground, it's easier to go to Limsa and just take the take the boat. But now that you can fly, it's just like zoom. Those are a mock station item. I thought there was a fight for that. Huh. The only reason I know that those are Nedja's rings is because of Musa Warriors. Love those games. The triumphant hero doth return. Then I speak of the dread task's completion. The second coil now lieth dormant. Yet I sense the tidings thou bearest are not altogether glad. Pray, tell me, what ill hath cast the shadow which falleth across now thy brow? Uh, Grandpa, he, he did some, uh, he, he did some domestic abuse. Grandpa got the belt. An old foe and an old friend. So it was but the ethereal shadow of Master Louisois that Lady Alizé beheld. In unnatural conjuration and thrall to the Elder Primal. That the fiend should deen to... De deen? De deen to choose him of all men. I think it's Dean. Dean to choose him of all men. Even in full knowledge of the Shade's true nature, I would be hard-pressed to weather such a confrontation. Yet what agonies must the young mistress have endured? Such torment did she ne'er deserve. Mayhap twere better if the Lady Alizé did absent herself from future forays onto the coils. I have come far- too far to surrender to grief, Uriange. Well, oh, hello, Redbow. My lady. My lady. Love the Neja Cherry, though. They're just neat. I just think they're neat. I am resolved to defeat these fiends, and naught shall sway me from my path. Now, let us peer more deeply into the well of our discoveries. As you wish, my lady. By your leave, I would speak first of the Coil's late guardian, Nail Van Darnus. Van Darnus was a legatus of the Garlean Empire, who strove to bring about Eorzea's final destruction, only to fall even as the sixth sun did set. If thou hast heard tales of the White Raven, then it is he of whom I speak. Aye, he, I say, for Nail was certainly no maid. Was for a certainty no maid. Don't you appreciate how we got into the up and close, up close and personal narration time, camera? The noble house of Van Darnus, as we discovered all too late, had long safeguarded the wisdom of ancient Alleg. It was thus that the Legatus came to learn the true nature of Dalamud, and to seek to employ the Red Moon as a weapon against Eorzea. 
With the crystal tower and the mechanisms required to command the satellite, yet lay hidden beneath the ground, compelling Nail to construct a far less subtle mechanism. <clears throat> and in his first faltering attempts to communicate with Dalamud, he did likely rouse the satellite's slumbering prisoner. Thenceforth did the White Raven's soul belong to Bahamut. <clears throat> He was fortunate indeed to acquire so powerful a thrall by chance. It is little wonder he was so loath to par part with him. Why let a simple thing like death deprive one of so useful a pawn? Though we may accuse him of bungling Van Darnus's resurrection, I dare say Bahamut was as content to have a handmaiden as a manservant. I only hope that the two thralls we encountered were the extent of his flock. Yet I cannot help but dwell on Nail's words, those beloved children of whom he spoke. I assumed at first that he referred to the moon's beastly guardians, but should Bahamut have enslaved other mortals, he must needs remove this source of worship. Otherwise, our efforts to disable the coils shall be for naught. Forgive me, mine indelicacy, my lady. Thou art wise indeed to speak of expunging the. Yeah, bleh, bleh. Thou art wise indeed to speak of expunging the primal's thralls. But canst thou truly pursue a course which would cost thee thine own grandsire? My heart and mind are as one on this matter. Grandfather's salvation can be won but by a single method. The destruction of Bahamut and aught that might serve to sustain him. Weevil? While Arian, Arian Shea and I endeavor to ascertain the existence of any further thralls, I suggest you grant yourself a moment's respite. Rest assured that I will contact you the moment I have need of your inimitable, inimitable talents. Inimitable! Now that's a word. That we have achieved so much, I owe to you. I fear, however, that our trials have barely begun. Well, I don't know, we've had like nine trials so far. Though time had told the pain of thy passing, I find that I am wounded afresh. Master Louisois, what good shall come of this unending search for knowledge and truth? What are these key keys for? Sorry, hiccups. Long have I believed the pursuit of such treasures to be the duty of every true Charlian. Yet with each new revelation serveth only to heap further anguish upon those whom we would fain protect. Must we truly reach for more? So you have found your resolve, dear sister. Will you now find a use for the secret? For the key that only you and I hold? Given our familial propensity for curiosity... You would do well to remember that keys may serve to seal doors as well as to unlock them. And Bahamut is a most unwelcome guest, to whom the door should never have been opened. Aniko Bernico is just sitting there staring at us the entire time. He's like, what the hell are they doing over there? Back, welcome back, Derpy. And on the note of you arriving, we're going to take a break because I'm out of drink. And I'm thirsty because of all the reading. So, get up, walk around, stretch your back, like I will be doing. All that good stuff. We'll be right back.
Hey guys. <laughs> ah! Y'all ready? I bet you are. All right, we need to talk to Rianje again. Steals the six human souls. Oh no! The barrier has been breached. Fragments of truth. Rianje would speak with you with regarding your mission to prevent Bahamut's return. Man is wont to cast light wheresoever secrets lie hid in darkness. Though that which he illuminateth seldom bringeth him joy. So it is with such unhappy truths as Bahamut. Bahamut's immense shadow doth conceal. It ever onward forgeth Mistress Alizé, undeterred by the burden of knowledge that weigheth heavy on her heart. Is a perilous path she hath chosen, and a painful one. I prithee, Weeble, remain by her side as her valiant blade, that she might see her request to its conclusion. Okay. Well, okay, I can... I can punch things pretty good. I mean, the rest of this, uh... The rest of the raid is pretty easy. Perfect tax evasion! That's the ultimate power. Weeble! It is well that you are here. My lady, how might I serve you this day? I've met with some difficulty in my mission, Ariange. I should be grateful for your counsel. As you know, Bahamut's physical form is regenerating beneath the Cartano Flats even as we speak. If we are to prevent his return, must needs disable the two remaining internment hulks that sustain him. Every moment our mission is delayed, the realm is pushed closer to the brink of destruction. Alas, I have determined the locations of the fragments of Dalamut leading to the Hulk. Though I have determined the locations of the fragments of Dalamut leading to the hulks, I've been unable to find a way to enter them. And gaining admittance is but the first step in your perilous undertaking. When last thou descended into Bahamut's subterranean fastness, thou didst discover, didst thou not, that the dread primal had bound the shade of Nail Van Darnis unto his will? And though thou did, didst consign the fallen legatus to blessed oblivion, thou mayst recall that the piteous wretch was not alone. Doubt not, but that Bahamut's other thralls shall seek to hinder thy passage. When did you go from SCP to game? I was game first. I've always been game, brother. Now, when I started the channel, we did shitty Let's Plays. Um, 2018, I was like, I, I want to mix up my content a little bit. So I started doing SCP readings as like a fun thing. And then that's all anyone ever watched. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I guess that's the... I guess that's my main content now. And then I got really, really upset that I couldn't stream anymore. <laughs> I really, really wanted to stream and play video games. Play video games with people? So I started streaming again... Like, secondary? While primarily... Doing, like, SCP readings? And then last year, I got, I was like, you know what? I'm fed up with SCPs. I'm going all in on stream. I'm done. I've read hundreds of articles. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm good. I'm good. Steals your money secretly, rolls a 20, and realizes, when did we start rolling, doing D&D? Yeah, joke's on you. We're playing White Wolf. Roll for successes. You don't need a D20 here. Yeah. You can say his name, Ariange. Not forgotten that my grandfather is waiting for us. My lady, I would remind you, as I oft must oft remind myself, that the man with whom we both love, wh whom we both loved and revered, is no more. What remaineth is but a shade which defileth his memory. The vile verbiage that spilleth from his lips must not be heeded, for it cometh not from your grandsire, but from Bahamut himself. Need not worry, Arianje. Come what may, 
will not stray from the course. I will not let Grandfather's sacrifice be in vain. <sighs> but mere words will not take us whither we must go. As I said, I've been unable to find a way to enter the fragments of Dalamud. My lady, might I suggest that you visit the fragments again in Weeble's company? Full off to have the Warrior of Light set events in motion by virtue, virtue of his presence alone. Motion. It is possible that he may do so again. Aye, hello, bloody bunny. How are you? Gives bag fries. Ah, crinkle fries. My favorite. I, the while, shall search for answers of mine own. By our efforts combined, full sure am I that the path shall be revealed to us ere long. For to anyone else, I would question the wisdom of such advice. Yet I cannot deny that what you say about Weeble is true. Very well, I shall do as you suggest. Uh, assuming you have no objections, of course. Good. You didn't let me yet. Now, we seek entry to the two. Uh, I was. Two fragments of Dalamud. One lies at the burning wall in eastern Thanalan, and the other at the singing sand shards in Mordona. I left an assistant at each location with instructions to con continue searching for a means of ingress. It is not possible. It is not impossible that they could have since found something useful to us. Let us begin by visiting my man at the burning wall. Next, I think it was. My man! How'd you come up with Weeble Wobble? He's named after a toy from the 90s. I thought it would be a funny name. For a funny little guy, because I originally made Weeble Wobble to be completely obnoxious. And then I decided that I actually really, really liked the game. <laughs> so I was like, alright, I'm actually going to make him a thing. You know, to the burning wall. My man! <gasps> Cat. <gasps> Cat in the car. That car has nothing on my Gundam! My Magitek! Yeah, I'm gonna fly over there. Yeah. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, hey, I found a means of ingress. Of ingress. Literally, literally just walk up to it. He's got a giant hole in this side. The ultimate power is mine. It's shot by the FBI. Oh, my. Now that's some legal trouble. Hello, Dex. What are you doing all the way over here? I say, are you not Master Wobble, my lady's most faithful companion? Sign is sir, at your service. And may I say what an honor it is to meet you. What about Dex? How goes the survey, Dex? Ahem. <laughs> My lady, it shames me to say that I have found no viable path to the fragment. Dex and his, and his Dex? Oh my. Though it stands there before our very eyes, the way thither has thus far proven impassable. When the fragment fell and pierced the land, it caused a prodigious amount of ether to spew forth was this that gave rise to the land's twisted lay, which seems destined to thwart our efforts. Would you decide for Weeble to be the face of the channel? Uh, 2021, when I decided that he'd be the, the face of the emotes. Even were an opening to exist, I fear that we would struggle to reach it. We cannot give up. Keep trying. So near and yet so far. 
Well, it avails us not to stand here and stare at the thing. Let us away to Mordona and try the other fragment. Perhaps Sinus has fared better. Well, is it... Uh, uh, upon that note, my lady, there is something I must tell you. I'm sorry to report that I lost contact with my brother just over a bell ago. As you know, the singing shards are home to many fell creatures, ogres among them. Well, I do not wish to cause you undue alarm. I fear something unspeakable may have happened to Dax. <clears throat> what? Why didn't you? Give me strength. I must hurry to my assistant's aid, Weevil. So does she never get your day bright? The singing shards are home to a host of fell creatures, ogres among them. If it would not be too much trouble, I should be most grateful if you would find my brother and keep my lady safe. Yeah, your name is Sinis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna question it. Alright. The more Thorans! Guys, gonna leave grows a California red one into your house with bone meal. Oh, no! Not a redwood. Helicopter, helicopter! Alright, we're going this way. Over here, near, next to the giant jawbreaker. Hmm. This thing looks butterscotch flavored. Hmm. Look, I love butterscotch candy, bro. Oh, hey! How you doing, Dex? What flavor is that? Butterscotch. It's like lava flavor, the forbidden peach. Thank you, adventurer. For a moment there, I feared that my bones would have been ground up and used to bake bread. <laughs> Ogre joke. I am relieved to see that you are unharmed. It was wrong of me to press such a dangerous task upon you. B -b -b my lady, your worries are wasted on me. It was nothing at all, I assure you. Him. If it please you, I shall report on my findings. As you can see, though the tip of the fragment is exposed, the rest is encased in rock and crystal, rendering it impossible to enter the structure. We might try excavating the area around the fragment, but that is like to take time. There is really no telling how deep we may need to dig before we find a suitable point of, ing point of ingress. As such, I am forced to conclude that gaining entry to this fragment is unrealistic. Forgive me, my lady. And found it. We are losing precious time. What are we to do now? Ringle dingle. Tis I, Urion J. Glad tidings have I for thee and my lady. For a blessing, a way hath been found by which thou mayest enter the remaining fragments of Dalamud. Pray, your escort to Mistress Alize to the Cerulean Processing Plant in Northern Thanalan. There all shall be made clear. We're going to the oil platform. Come on, we gotta go join the Enclave. Rion J has found a way. Then we must go to him at once. Uh-huh. That's definitely what I said. You needn't linger on my account. Should Master Rianger's method prove viable, rest assured I shall maintain many malms between myself and this place. You might want to get a bit further. That's a giant ogre. Fighting right there. Well, anyway. See you later, Dex. Oil! Prepare to get liberated. Oil? Oil? Oh! Oil? Oh. Oh. 
My apologies for summoning you thus from afar, my lady. But tis here that your journey may finally begin. I did wonder. To my knowledge, there are no fragments in northern Thanalan. Nor are you mistaken, my lady. Yet a pathway doth exist, one which you yourself have made use of in the past. At the conclusion of your several forays into the binding coil, was it the crystal formation which lies to the north of this place that you did emerge, was it, was it not? Yes. An ethereal stream bore us back to the surface. That much I had surmised. I was suggesting that we can use it to return underground. Even if that were possible, would it not simply bear us back to those places which we have already explored? It need not, my lady. Pray, allow me to explain. Upon the evidence of your experience, it seemeth plain that the two internment hul- Shut up, Bone! It seemeth plain that the two internment hulks may share the self-same ethereal egress. From this, we did infer that others may be connected and likewise. Thus, we did we labor long to verify the existence of further tributaries to the self-same stream, in which task we were at length successful. Twas then but a matter of arriving at a solution to the problem of traveling to an unattuned destination. That one might reach what we may call the headwater, we propose to employ a modified aetherite, which serveth to amplify such ripples as do originate from said source. By focusing one essence of one's essence upon these ripples, it should be possible to make the journey. It be fairly warned, my lady, as with all untried modes of ethereal travel, this method entaileth considerable danger. Merely to attempt the voyage could cost you your life. Or maybe even your lunch. That is a risk I am willing to take! You're brilliant, Urianje! But I am curious. Did you have assistance in forming this plan? I could not help noticing your repeated use of the word we, unless you have taken to using the majestic plural in our absence. Uh, um, nay, my lady, as you have correctly surmised, I was not alone in this endeavor. Meaning there are others who are aware of our mission. Hmm. Well, it cannot be helped now. Preventing Bahamut's return is what matters. If some secrecy must be sacrificed to achieve our goal, then so be it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Speak with Alize. Up at Delamud's Talons. A lot of Delamud's Talons. I think Moonbrita got her shit kicked in over here. I think they're in the size of, like, I think Bahamut has a hand under these. Because it kind of looks like a claw and like a like the bottom of a claw. Here. I don't know. Anyway. Verily, it was not my wish to withhold knowledge of the aid I received. I pray the Mistress Alizé will forgive me when she learneth of its source. It's her brother. Oh, hey, look. The Immortal Flames. My bros! Flame salute! Yep, that is well known flame salute. Alright. So that must be the modified Aetherite. But what are the immortal flames doing here? Those men may be the sworn flames of Ulda, but they are first and foremost faithful retainers of House Leveilleur. Is that a vampire? Also, hello, Alphano. Alphano? 
So it was you who was helping Urian J. Who else could it have been, dear sister? Lest you worry, I have no intention of making the details of your venture public. Like you, I would prefer to avoid causing a panic. But given that which is at stake, namely the survival of the realm, one must be willing to accept help when it is offered. Would you not agree? At the very least, do not be cross with Orianje. It was at my behest that he kept silent. <laughs> we will speak later. Pray forgive me, my lady. But knowing full well your intent, I judged it meet that Elfano, Master Elfano be informed. Though your grandsire has become Bahamut's thrall, his noble blood courses yet through both your veins. And if he must needs be struck down... Do you hear that, Elfano? I mean to strike down, Grandfather! And when I have done so, I shall banish Bahamut to the ether. Nothing you say will sway me from my course. I will protect Eorzea, and I will uphold Grandfather's legacy. Grandfather's legacy? So you still do not know what you yourself desire. Your actions are still driven by borrowed resolve. Borrowed resolve? What does that have to do with anything? Protecting Eorzea was Grandfather's goal, and we made it ours, both of us! That is why we came here, unless you have forgotten. Cause forbid I should ever forget, Alize, but you misunderstand. Do not question your resolve, only whence it came. If it were your own, you would be able to tell me precisely why you desire so fervently to protect Eorzea. If you cannot, for it is not your resolve, but Grandfather's. You may struggle to see the difference, but borrowed resolve shall never be as strong as that which springs from within. Let us speak of this another time. For now, preventing Bahamut's return is all that matters. Yellow, I mean orange. Baja Blast is the best Mountain Dew flavor. Never tried Baja Blast, though. And I have, it was okay. I also tried Baja Blast. It was okay. How you doing, one though, over in Twitch chat? Can I see those outfits? I wonder if those are clocks on their chest gear. I think those are pressure gauges. Aren't those, um... Aren't they those ether... Like, ether readers? It's probably a pressure gauge for ethereal, um... Density. Yellow, I mean orange. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? To be plain, I have no objection to striking down whatever is left of Grandfather. Know, however, that I will be accompanying you this time. As a son of House Leveilleur, I would be present for his final moments. Very well. You may join us. On one condition. I make the decisions. If it please, milady, the name Zirkenred. Our preparations are just about complete. When you're ready to embark on your mission, just give me the word. I'll be waiting for you at the Cerulean processing plant. Zirkenred, that's old English. Hey, no heed to my brother. You can rely on me. We have come far together, you and I. And together we shall see our journey to its end. Uh, I forget the cat exists every time I see it. Alright, fragments of truth. Speak with Urkenrad. The last coil of Bahamut, the last turn. Hello, Urkenrad. Weeble. There's me, Weeble Wobble. I'm Wobble. I've been waiting for you, Master Wobble. I'm pleased to say that the Aetherite's primed and ready. As you know, the remaining internment hulks are connected to the fragments in Eastern Thanalan and Mordona. It's to the former that will be sending you first. 
Now, you'll be starting inside the Hulk, meaning you won't have to cover so much ground. The drawback being that you'll be fighting for your life from the moment you get there. Best to be prepared for anything, for my lady's sake, if not your own. And that's about all I can tell you. When your preparations are in order, just give me the word and I'll send you on your way. I may even throw in a prayer for your speedy return, just to be on the safe side. Wobbly Wobble is so small, but why is there a cat? That's our new pet. I accidentally pressed the, the minion roulette button and I got a cat. In fact, minion swap. Go boo! Good boy. Yeah, right. He's got three of them. That. Thanks, one though. <laughs> All right, the final turn, the final coil of Bahamut, turn one. Alize is resolved to go through with her quest to vanquish Bahamut, though it means confronting her beloved grandfather, whom the Elder Primal has made his thrall. With Alpha No's cooperation, an ethereal pathway has been established, which will take your party to one of two intern the two internment hulks that remain to be disabled. Your foray begins in northern Thanalan at the set of Dalamid's Talons situated in Roban's Push. Spare no preparation and expect fierce resistance. Oh boy! On his head? Well, yeah. Where else would you keep him? The Stargate. So this is how it looks on the inside. This internment hulk still functions. The teleportation was a success. We are come to the right place. There's no telling how much further Bahamut has regenerated since last we beheld him. Let us make haste to the main bridge and deactivate the coil. Okay. There were, were receptacles similar to these in the previous Hulk. Those held chimerical beasts. Only the Alligans know what other abominations may be sleeping within. They may well be part of Dalamud's internal defenses. We must stay on our guard at all times. I remember this fight. I think I have 1k mistakes. Yeah, you are quite mistaken, I see. Bam bam ba da ba 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 Yeah. Got him. There it is. Noni? Noni? What the hell? Yeah. Oh, my one more. Jinde. I was gonna say, if you if you caught me, that was total bullshit, you know it! Yeah! Woohoo! And I say. Woohoo! Those dragons. Oh, shit. Great! 
dragon cat! How much final fantasy is in Final Fantasy 13? Well, there's not much fantasy in Final Fantasy 13. It's more of a science fantasy than anything. Yep. Uh, I'm too good. <laughs> I'm too good. How you doing, Mr. Mecha? All right. The son and daughter of I'm too good. All right. Ow! Electric burst. <clears throat> I don't need to stand in that, do I? God damn it! All right, buddy, you're done for. Drop your shield, you son of a bitch! Do it! Coward! Final, stand in your electric puddle. Stand in your other one, too! What do you want from me? Oh, hey, more kids. You're done! Also over on YouTube. My name begins with a B over there. I didn't realize you were also on Twitch. So I've been watching for a bit now. Ah, I see. Yeah, we have a secondary stream that goes over on Twitch. Although the YouTube one is higher quality. And it's also permanently saved. God, I love the, the turnaround. Reditions of answers and a slight echo, which was interesting. Oh, I see. By the twelve dragons, and so many. We were aware that the Allegans possessed the means to control the creatures. To imprison them thus is barbaric. Would not wish a f such a fate upon my worst enemy. Tis plain that no love was lost between the Allegans and the Dragons. But was it truly necessary to keep so great a number here? Alamut did not want for defenses. This we have experienced firsthand. Such guardians as the Allegans created, both living and unliving, were surely no less capable of repelling intruders than these poor creatures. Tell me something, Alphen Alizé. <clears throat> Have you not yet managed to determine by whose will Bahamut exists? No, I have not. First, I assumed that Bahamut had no people of his own, that the Allegans had perhaps discovered a way to simulate prayer itself. However, Nail's words gave me cause to reconsider. Spe Sorry for bumping the mic. Specifically, the Shade's mention of Bahamut's beloved children. From that, I inferred that the Primal is given form by the will of worshippers, whom we have yet to... Oh. God, strike me down for a blind fool! Bahamut's beloved children right there before my very eyes. How could I be so stupid? Who else but the dragons of Eld would summon Bahamut? Who else but they could sustain him? To think I wondered why the aliens kept them imprisoned here. <clears throat> Even should the flame of Bahamut's life go out, his faithful children would summon him back. For this reason, the Allegan Empire kept an army of dragons here in perpetual state of duress. Duress. 
that they might sustain the primal's existence. Truly, the Allegan's ingenuity knew no bounds, and neither did their cruelty. He's like some kind of fucked up dragon matrix. Small wonder that Bahamut was so enraged. Let no one deny that it was man who sowed the seeds of the calamity. Will you now turn your hatred towards our own kind, dear sister? Do not patronize me, Alpha No. I merely acknowledge our guilt. Lest you be in any doubt, I have no intention of allowing Bahamut to lay the world to waste, regardless of the atrocities the Allegans committed against his kind. We have no choice but to eliminate all who worship him, be they his children or his thralls. It seems reasonable to assume that the system responsible for the Primal's regeneration is also responsible for sustaining the captive dragons. If we disable it, all should perish. Let us press on. We gotta unplug Grandpa's life support. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I really need to play my Switch, bro. Turn two! At the depth of 6,835 yalms! Holy shit. You and your companions are greeted by a breathtaking sight. A colossal replica of Dalamud. Believed to be the device which regulates Bahamut's regeneration. The structure swarms with legions of the Lesser Moon's internal defenses. But through it you must go if you are to reach the main bridge. I remember this one! Not being difficult, but annoying. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it. All right, time to pop Bahamut's soccer ball. Ugh. I'm going in. <clears throat> yeah. I hate this road stuff. To the left. The outer regeneration grid. Spanner Rook. Get out of my way. Gone. Activating teleporter. That got reactivated. Oh, hello, Valiant. If that is your real name. All right, cool. We'll just stand here until I win. Hmm. Yeah! Do I continue standing here until I win? Oh, I gotta turn on the other tit, too. Activate both cyber nipples! They take an annoying long time to activate? Yeah. Now I can feel, de feel deactivated. Another button. I got this, don't worry. To the right! Over here now, I guess. La, 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 la. God, I love this music. Deactivating. <gasps> Valiant incoming! Anyway. Get owned! I gotta go all the way around, I think. If you Shinra robot! Eh? I actually have to go around around, don't I? Yep! Return! 
and the button bug out on me and I restart the whole thing. Yeah. Like I said, I don't remember this one being hard, just annoying. Now we should go to the right. If I, if I'm correct on this, we go to the right and do the same thing on this side. Come here. What? No COVID in here. These things are not, not even on. Not even activatable. Guess I go over here. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Boing. They seem to have ended up back over here. Hmm. I seem to have messed up a little. The same. <laughs> the same path is just the start that varies. Hmm. Well, let's go down the left again. Boing? Up here to the right. Yeah, because we wound up back down here. There's a creature over here. Let's go kick his ass! That's the only thing I can think of. Go towards the guys that want to fight you. Alright, here we go. Boing. Alright. We did it! And this arena looks super cool, though. I haven't given enough time to look around and actually in, in appreciate the environments. Because they are really, really sick. Alright, here we go. Core override. Oh god, they turned the dragon from World of Darkness into a Terminator! Kalia! not stand in the instantly die the instant die field the barrier is lethal so I have learned press the wrong button It! 
What the hell? Die. All right, anyway. <laughs> the egg ate the, the brick. <laughs> I win. Pathetic. Gravity merge shouldn't be a lot tougher to hurt. Ah. Like I said, not hard, just annoying. Why, this looks like a model of Talamud, yes. Ignore Weeble in the <gasps> pose in the background. <laughs> For a millennia, Bahamut must have gazed at this unchanging view. Trapped inside a prison that was scarcely large enough to contain him, unable to, to move, denied the release of death, how his hatred for man must have burned. That hatred found an ideal vessel in Nail Van Darnus. In many ways, Bahamut is to be pitied, not loathed. But knowing the true extent of his fury, I'm more convinced than ever of the necessity of our endeavor. Besides, this is not the only soul that cries out for vengeance. Justice. Justice. All right. The final coil of Bahamut, turn three. At 8,872 yelms below the surface, your party arrives within ca Bahamut's cavernous regeneration chamber. As Elize moves to disable the internment hulk, she finds her way barred by her grandsire, the Archon Louis Zwa. The man once gave his life that the realm might be spared. If you would honor his legacy, you must now strike him down. Spoilers! We're going in! Gods! He is almost whole again. Been a minute since we got voice acting, huh? His size is staggering. I can scarce imagine how Grandfather stood against such a monstrosity. This cannot be allowed to proceed any further. Let us disable the coil and move on. is dead. I will not dishonor my beloved grandsire's memory by calling you such. You are but his twisted shape, the thrall of a mad prime. You were foolish to disregard my warning, child. Are you so convinced of your own righteousness? Is the rightness of our path that led us to return. Eorzea will never be safe whilst Bahamut remains to threaten all we hold dear. What of the hero who gave his life in defense of the realm? Do you truly dispute the justice of our cause? My poor, ignorant grandchildren, your world is shaped by naught but recent conflict. Listen, and I will speak to you of justice. Twas in the twilight of the Third Astral Era. The southern land of Merosidia 
suffered invasion at the hands of the Alagon Empire, with no atrocity too depraved for their purpose. The forces of Alec were unstoppable in their advance. Desperate for salvation, the dragons prayed to one of their first brood, to their ancestor Bahamut. Infused by the power of their fervent supplications, Bahamut arose from the abyss of death and took wing as the Merasidian's newborn god. Yet this great miracle would only serve to further the maniacal designs of the dragon's imperial conquerors, the cruel fetters which bind my lord, stand testament to the Alagon's boundless greed and hubris. I once summoned the Twelve in an attempt to forestall the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era. What then did the dragons of Merasidia do that I did not? Wherefore are they accursed and I exalted? Tis man's overweening belief in his own primacy that blinds him to the commonness of his condition and the truth of his own tyranny. As long as man is suffered to remain, the dragons shall never be at peace. Only when the plague of people has been expunged shall the children of Lord Bahamut be free. Then shall the world know true justice. Stop it! Grandfather would never say such things. His belief that people were worth saving never faltered. He had faith in their strength, that they could stand together and push back against the darkness seeking to shake them. A false hope. Tis folly to place one's faith in so flawed a race. Stand together? Huh. They would first need to agree on which direction to face. If history teaches us anything, it is that man cannot find common ground between his own two feet. Even you, twins whose veins run with the same blood, struggle to fathom each other's reasoning. You hide your differing agendas behind the convenient banner of Eorzea's salvation. Given your obvious self-interest, can you truly claim no kinship with the oligarch? And though I hope they might bring you closer, it would seem that the twin grimoires I bestowed upon you were a wasted gesture. There may well be truth in your judgment of Alize and me, but such a one-sided tirade bemoaning the evils of man rings false coming from the lips of Archon Louisois. Tell me, do you champion the cause of dragons because Bahamut compels you as his thrall? Or is it because you yourself have transcended the limits of man's existence? So the possibility did not escape your notice. What I prayed for, and what I have become. These are the keys that unlock the truth behind Eorzea's rebirth. If you would have them, then you must needs take them by force. Come! Rend this divine form asunder and claim your answers. I love that song. I know, but you must. 
must accept it. That entity is no phantom or imposter. Para vam. Is our beloved grandsire. All right, time to put another god under my belt. Here we go! I didn't know that a, a, a primal could be tempered by another primal. All right, Phoenix. Let's see if you're right, shall we? <laughs> Benny! Die, Benny. Your hubris once more strikes. Not the consequences of my own actions. No, anything but that. Please. Die, Benny. Riddle me this, Phoenix. Get back on the ground, Benny! You gonna bring him back again? Die, bird. Left and dashed into it so many times. Ugh! There's a lot of those fields and in coils, it seems. That's a good touch. We were not happy about that. The music disagrees, though. The music's like, ah, oh, hell yeah! Fuck you, Grandpa! Carving dreadworm coffers at the time. Okay, I assume. There's a cutscene that's supposed to play there. Is that a fast... The, that's probably the fastest way to get Dreadwork. Yeah, because you only get those on tier 4, right? So that'd be the fastest way to get them. Glorious one, as I recall. I'd hope so. Yeah, that feels like like a cutscene would play there. Good evening, dear adventurer. As you wish, sir, right this way. Ooh, da. Suspend. The unending journey. The never ending story. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, this is the intro. This is the death of Phoenix, cutscene three. Yes. Grandfather is truly gone this time. But better it end this way than the alternative. He's a primal, though. You can't kill primals. Yep, there he is. I am yet here, Alice, my dear, sweet granddaughter. Grandfather? I 
must thank you, warrior of light. Without your valor, I might never have broken free of Bahamut's control. These last few moments are mine, to live as the man I once was. This is all that I wanted, yet... Now that it is happening, I find myself struggling to believe it. Is it really you? Grandfather, pray forgive me my insolence. It was not my intent to demean you. Forgive you? <laughs> I am proud of you, child. You were wise enough to deduce the manner of creature I had become. Alfino, Alize, if any here should beg forgiveness, it is I. Grandfather, I must ask. Will you not tell us what befell during the Calamity? Yes, yes, of course. You have come far to hear the truth. Let us then begin the tale at the Battle of Cartano where clashed the forces of the Garlean Empire and the Eorzean Alliance. T'was there in the sky above the surging armies that the Elder Primal Bahamut broke free of the Red Moon Dalamo. In an effort to contain this avatar of destruction, I called upon the Twelve to aid me in the creation of a prison of ether. But Bahamut would not be caged by such feeble bars. Too vast was his might, too fierce his rage. Little choice remained to me. I used the last of my strength to entrust our hope unto the future, and prepared to meet my end. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. Y'all ready? Speaking of Dragon Ball.
And that is how the sixth Astral Era ended. <laughs> With a shonen fight! That's also the last time I think they used a cinematic cutscene in game, isn't it? Outside of trailers, I don't think I've... Now granted, I have not experienced all of the game. Like, I'm only in Shadowbringers, and I haven't I haven't really engaged with, like, raids or anything outside of ARR. Although I have seen Endwalker. Um. I watched someone play it, but I haven't seen a cinematic cutscene. I think that's the only one. I wonder why they don't do them more. Maybe it's too expensive. Anyway, cutscene number four. Five, even. I can count. Ellen! What's math? As you have no doubt surmised, I did not perish. When the cage built from the essences of the Twelve was destroyed, the sky was filled with a colossal cloud of ether. This drifting energy responded to the prayers of those fighting below and to my own desperate wish that the dying realm be saved by infusing me with the power of a primal. I became the immortal phoenix, ancient symbol of rebirth. Rising into the sky, I struck Bahamut with all my newfound strength. The blow shattered his earthly form, and a shower of ether rained down upon the land. Thus began the rejuvenation of Eorzea. Believing the deed done, I relinquished my hold on that staggering energy, desirous that it should be returned to the realm without delay. But I had not reckoned on Bahamut's tenacious will, even as he teetered upon the cusp of oblivion. The dragon reached out to claim me. Alas, within my fast fading form, enough remained of the Phoenix's energy to offer Bahamut a hold, and he dragged me along in his wake. And thus began your existence as the Elder Primal's thrall. I cannot help but wonder at his will to survive. Though he was all but obliterated, Bahamut found a way to seize the power you surrendered. That would explain why part of his physical form survived to be entombed underground. It would also explain why Eorzea was so terribly warped. Even as the land sought to restore itself, the returning flow of ether was cut off. Ah, very good. When his grip on existence was once again secured, Bahamut did not cease his feast until he had consumed every last mote of ether that yet floated in the air. And still he was not fully restored. You must remember that by this time, much of the freed ether had already returned to the land. That which remained was not sufficient to reconstruct so massive a form in its entirety. But there did not need to be, not for a being sustained by the marvels of Alagon technology. As long as some piece of Bahamut persists, the coils will seek it out and continue their regenerative task. The fragments of Dalamud appear motionless from the surface, but deep beneath the ground they had been searching, tunneling through rock and soil towards their escaped prisoner. And, as you have observed for yourselves, they found his heart. Warrior of Light, heed me. You must put a stop to Bahamut's regeneration. Whether it be for man or for dragonkind, the question of justice is irrelevant. The Elder Primal will leave naught but a smoldering waste.
this land for both his children and ours. I beg you to defend Eorzea and guide its people to the future they yet struggle to find. This portal will take you to the final internment, Hulk. Tis time for the tale of Bahamut and his part in the calamity to come to an end. Alvino, Alize, pray come closer. God, elves are Your so tall. Hopes and dreams must no longer be an extension of mine. You must needs find your own reason to fight for this realm, your own meaning in this sea of chaos. Will you do that for me? Of course, grandfather. I have already made it my mission to see this newborn Eorzea survive and flourish. Alize, while I was yet enthralled to Bahamut, you spoke of my faith in man's strength. Know that your words reached me, imprisoned though my soul still was. So forceful was your conviction. I wonder if that belief has not become your own. Perhaps, after all your anger and sorrow was spent, you found something greater within you. See this fight to its culmination. Tis also your strength, in which I have faith. Thank you for everything. Pray, take your rest, Grandfather. You deserve it. There are records of an art that allowed one to summon the power of a primal from the essence of its demise. And though I am no true primal, all that I have left, I give to you. Alvino, Alize, <laughs> my darling grandchildren, may light's blessings ever keep and protect you. Warrior of Light, our task remains undone. I thought that bolt of electricity behind Alphino was part of his clothes freaking out. <laughs> My ribbon! All right. Whew. That's some heavy shit. Uh, almost made me cry. All right. One last turn remains. 
the final Goyle of Bahamut, turn four. Restored to his senses in defeat, Louise Waugh uses his final moments to send your party to the main bridge of the final internment hull. There to banish Bahamut once and for all. Yet though the end of your arduous journey is in sight, do not but doubt not but that the cornered primal will lash out with his unbridled rage. You are to overcome this terrible foe. You and yours must be of one purpose. Join now your hearts and minds and sally forth to bring the seventh umbral era to its true conclusion. For the future of Eorzea. I'm gonna fight a dragon again. I like your headpiece. needs find your own reason to fight for this realm. Your own meaning in this sea of chaos. Will you do that for me? Flashback, no jutsu. I will, Grandfather. In fact, I believe I already have. That reason has been with me all along. Guiding me. Eorzea's blade of light, shearing through endless shrouds of darkness. I have been shown the miraculous feats of which we are all capable. Of which I am capable. Darkness! Bahamut, you have wreaked enough havoc. I will not let your wrathful fires consume all that we know and love. Resolve at last. Let me join my strength to yours. In this place, in this moment, our purpose has become one.
future of Eorzea! This last task is yours, Warrior of Light. You must destroy Bahamut's crystal core. God, they're so extra. <laughs> I don't look very enthused about gaining the ability to fly. <laughs> what? Who are all those people? What the? Oh. I hallucinated having friends. Dude. Bahamut Prime. Those books were a gift from Louis Swa. They indeed were. I stand close to you because you're about to charge me. Yep. Woohoo! Get back here, Bahamut! Ah, uh, this fight has a lot of waiting. Cause it's a lot of ads. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, Custom Marriage City up! Okay, we wait some more. Okay. Don't bother me, I'm vibing to the music. Oh man, my feet dropped, dude. What the? Oh, hey. Push me. Push me again the other way. Oh, he missed. You missed again, Bahamut. Bad for glasses with timers like Monk or Black Mage. My stances, dude. Oh, hey. It's Quintenia. Oh, you come here. Flare dampening. I wonder what that could mean. <laughs> hmm. Let's read that. Damage taken by how much Tetra Flares reduced. Damage dealt is significantly reduced. Hmm. I wonder what that could mean. Come on, Bahamut. The pain of Mericidia. I kicked your pain's ass. So believe. 
the void. Hello! Oh, walking over this way. Push me! <clears throat> wow! Shit! I clap my hands. Ten seconds to Tetra to Terra Flare. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm okay! Damn, he's thick! Well, anyway. <laughs> God, that fight is so cool. I know it's not in their interest, but I would really, really appreciate, like, solo duty versions of this. It's so, like you can properly, like, engage with it without having to deal with finding a party. Because there's, like, really cool fights in here. But it's basically impossible to find someone to play with. <laughs> to find a group to play with here. I don't know. It's pro it's not in their interest, I feel. Too much effort. Oh my god, the cutscene's actually playing. You did it! But one task remains. Reminds. With this last coil disabled, there shall be naught left to bind Bahamut to this world. His beloved children will finally know peace. To the far plane with you, Bahamut. Tis done. He is truly gone. Grandpa 
father had become. I was not certain, but from all I had gleaned, it seemed a distinct possibility. The scene people describe of the Battle of Cartano was one of unimaginable devastation, and it is through the combined prayers of the desperate and an abundant source of ether that primals are born. I merely put two and two together. And you consider that a sufficient explanation? Well, however you stumbled across your theory, was this revelation that made you wary of my attachment to Grandfather. You feared that in my obsession I would fall under his primal sway. Is that why you decided to join us? To pull me back should I show signs of wavering? Pray forgive me, sister. I wished only to protect you. Yet I see now that I needn't have doubted the strength of your conviction. May I ask you a question? What do you now intend to do with the truth you have uncovered? Which particular truth was that, brother? The fact that desperate prayer gave rise to the primal phoenix? That this new god was responsible for setting Eorzea on the path to rebirth? Should such a tale become common knowledge? People would soon offer up their prayers in earnest. They would beseech Phoenix to complete the healing that was begun. Yet as you and I know all too well, the very act of calling forth this savior would do more harm to the land than good. New God, let's go! such worship for this very reason. Were Grandfather forced to return as an ether-draining primal, it would undo all that he had worked to protect. Your abiding love for him was the key that unlocked the truth of the calamity. But keys may also serve to seal doors that were best left unopened. Let your love now guide your actions and lock away deep inside the fate of both Grandfather and Bahamut. what must be done. The realm need not know the truth for it to be saved. That the Elder Primal is banished to return no more, that is enough. Besides, it makes me look cooler. <laughs> Let us make our way back to the surface. Poor Oriange must be beside himself with worry. Orion J. <laughs> Disable auto advance. <sighs> Move the heart and install a cockpit. Dragon mech is go! Getting the dragon Shinji? Alright, I need to go double check to see if that's actually the the end of the cutscenes there. Alrighty. Incense raids, final call, final Bahamut. Intro, death, outro. Okay, it actually played that one. Would be the two in the quest area. I was just making sure there wasn't, like, another cutscene on the way out. Because this thing's been wonky with it. We are- I already know that Alizé's Path, which is the final quest for- for this, has its own cutscene. But if it's quest- if it's quest-related, odds are... It'll actually play. <clears throat> Alrighty. 
Let's finish this then. That was a lot of fun, man. Hey, Alpha Note. In spite of your presence, I must confess that there were moments when I feared the worst. But in the end, you plucked us from the flames and bore us safe onto victory, just as you always have. As for Alize, I've never been more proud to call her my sister. I wanted to mention a thing, but yeah, you said you haven't finished Shadowbringers, so I can't. I haven't beaten Shadowbringers, but the way I got into the game was watching so was watching someone beat it. So <laughs> Yeah. The video opening cutscene, I've nope, don't need to do that. And here we are again. After that descent into darkness, the desolation of darkness, the desolation of northern Thanalan seems paradisal. One of the post uh, MSQ raids kind of stuff for Shadowbringers or Endwalker. Because if, if, if you're talking about Endwalker, the Endwalker raids, I know what you're talking about, probably. <clears throat> Shadow. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I actually... You're talking about Eden? I actually don't know much about that, other than, like, the premise. And, like, a character's name. That's, like, all I know for that. As promised, I shan't reveal the truth of the calamity to a single soul. However, the nations of Eorzea will require certain... assurances that the threat of a new primal is gone. Kept in the dark over long, it's only a matter of time before they seek answers of their own accord. Let us recommend that the fragments of Dalamud are sealed off, that the truth may rest undisturbed. But first, we must go and report to Uryanje. It would not do to keep him in suspense. I dare say we shall find him pacing up and down at the Cerulean processing plant. <clears throat> Takes place in Aorizia. Are you sure it's Shadowbringers, then? The raids for Shadowbringers were Eden and, uh, 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 uh Near, weren't they? When you come back, did Shadowbringers have three raids? Ah, the warrior of light returneth undimmed from the depths of the darkness. The darkness. By thy triumphant bearing, I take it thou art, take it thou hast succeeded in thy mission. Yet thou art alone. Mistake me not, dear friend. Full glad am I of thy safe return. But where, pray, are Master Alphano and Mistress Alize? More of a set of trials. Ah, the patch content trial. Trial set, the patch trials. Here, my friend. Forgive us our lateness. We took the scenic route. Bahamut is no more. The realm is safe. <gasps> By the heavens. Look at you. The, the trial series, yeah. What horrors your young eyes must have seen. What suffering your young bodies must have borne. I know the... The concept for the raid series as well. But I don't know how it ends. I know it has ballin' ass music, I know that. Pray, tell me. Where are you hurt? Your wounds must needs be cleansed and dressed at once. I shall make for you a poultice which draweth out... It is, my friend. You're hale and whole, I assure you. Just a little, uh, a little singed. We took a few tumbles, but the worst of our hurts are healed. I believe we have Grandfather to thank for that. Master Louis Hoire. Then you met with him once more. But wherefore could should Bahamut's thrall seek to ease your suffering? I promise to reveal all to you in due course, dear friend. 
But first, there is a matter which requires our immediate attention. The whole game has great music. Everything except Snow Cloak. Now that Bahamut is defeated, we deem it best to bar entry to all of the fragments of Dolomud. To this end, we will convince the nation's leaders that the danger is past, and invite their cooperation in ensuring that the fragments are never again disturbed. Come, let us depart and seek an audience with them forthwith. Except what? Snow Cloak, I believe is the... Unless I'm mis misremembering the name. The Ice Cave. A moment, sister. You needn't burden yourself with this task. Hurianche and I will more than suffice. Might you not take this opportunity to rest? The gods know you've earned it. I am fine, brother. Besides, you've been through as much as I have. Oh, I see now. You would play your game of diplomacy and wish me out of the way. No, I... Not could be further from the truth, Alize. My lady, tis mine earnest belief that your brother hath your best interests at heart. You have done more than your part, but he desireth but to re and he desireth but to relieve you of a burden he might easily bear alone. I have some experience treating with dignitaries you must allow. And as you never fail to remind me of my fondness for diplomacy, I feel it only right that I remind you of your aversion to it. Then it is settled. Ariange, pray make arrangements for a chocobo carriage. The ride should, should give us ample time to prepare our story. Didn't even let her. Didn't even let her say yes or no. Alpha no. Though our paths are different, we share the same goal, do we not? But of course, dear sister, that which we have just achieved together stands as testament to that fact. Whatever path we choose to take, our hearts shall ever lead us to the same end. Of that, I am certain. Thank you. There is a place that I would visit. Might I ask you to accompany me? Okay, I got nothing better to do. Book. But first, I do believe a change of garments is in order. It won't take a moment. Acquiring new clothes? Or are you just gonna pull a Doug Funny and we're oh hey new clothes? Hey yo, what up? The landscape is the same. Of course, there's no reason that it would be otherwise. Though it would be poetic for the fragments to magically disappear, I am well aware that they shall remain long after you and I are gone. symbols that the world may change irrevocably irrevocably but life shall ever go on let us take a closer look shall we a 
I thought it was relaxing. It's relaxing for like the first minute. And then it loops for 20. <laughs> I have no doubt that Alpha No will do an admirable job concealing the truth of the calamity. And such truths as were revealed in those dark depths will never see the light of day. I myself agreed that it might, it must be so. God, I love Lala Fell faces. The thought that the people of Eorzea shall forever remain ignorant of their savior, fear deeds. The injustice of it is almost too much for me to bear. Ah, don't worry about it, dude. Don't worry about it. I got like a million things they praise me for on the daily. I can give up this one. Everybody already falls at my feet when they talk about the ultimate weapon. How typical of you, Weeble. Ever the hero. Even so, I cannot deny that I feel better for your reass reassurance. But I want you to know that I will never for that I will never forget. You are the one who freed Grandfather's soul and saved Eorzea from Bahamut's wrath. And though these great deeds will never be remembered in song, their consequences will be felt forevermore by every soul who calls this realm home. Uh-huh. Whatever that means. Yes, this spot will do. For Grandfather, Nail and the Dragons of Maristidia. For all those who were taken by the Calamity. Mark of the Twelve by the Burning Wall, I think that's the same, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. It's my god. At long last, our struggle with Bahamut is over. The realm, given new life through the prayers and sacrifices of countless souls, may look to a brighter tomorrow. When the dust of our adventure has settled, I shall embark on a journey. I mean to find my own reason to fight for Eorzea. And when I do, I will fight with all my being. You have done so much for me, Weeble. One day, I hope to be able to repay you in kind. I have no doubt that, but that you will continue to help those in need, and grow ever stronger in so doing. I shall endeavor to do the same, and if the Twelve are kind, I hope one day to become Eorzea's sword in the darkness, as you are. Come what may, you may rest assured that I will not be outdone by Alfie now. Uh-huh. When we next meet, I promise that I will not disappoint you. Till that day, fare you well, my friend. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, time to not see you for a whole nother expansion. Bye. Into the void with ye.
complete. Exiting new game plus mode. Complete! Also, yes, that's a Zayma. You can tell because it's like a clown nose. Honk, honk. Anyway. Coils. Good. That is my official verdict. Coils. Good. I wish it could be better integrated into the game. So that it could be more properly interacted with. But alas, they've got better shit to do. So, that will be this. That will be it for Final Fantasy for a little bit. Uh, not very long. Tomorrow, hopefully, we will be playing Death Road to Canada. As voted on by the community. We probably only do one, maybe two streams of that. And then I am going to force through Vintage Story immediately after that. That game has been a request for months, and no one ever votes for it, and I'm starting to feel bad. So I'm going to make it a game. I'm going to make it. I'm going to force it through, and we're going to play that for a few streams. And then we come back to Final Fantasy. Heavensward time, baby! Woo! We do part one of Heavensward. Which will be considerably longer than this. So we'll be on that for a while. When we start that, I'll put up the next round of voting. And then that will be the game we play after we finish part one of Heavensward. We're going to do this by New Game Plus chapters, basically. Like, we cheat each chapter like a game, and then we move on to the next thing, and then come back, and you get the idea. Anyway, it is 10 o'clock at night. I was hoping to be done an hour and a half ago. I gotta go. So, I hope y'all had a good time, because I certainly did always do when I played this game y'all have a good night and I'll see you later <laughs>